when you break the DM. <laughs> hey, everyone, and welcome back to Beneath the Tide. We're starting a little late today because daylight savings time sucks. And yeah, because people were just going to run late today, so we're doing a little late today. Mm. We had to do like 20 straight minutes of puns just before we got yeah. started. It really warm up. And getting yeah. It was awful, and I'm going to give everyone disadvantage for the rest of the session. <laughs> I'm dating Talison Jaffe now. And yeah, Kate's dating Talison Jaffe. Uh, Talison, if you're watching. No, please don't sue us. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you've got a nice mummy. I'm... Uh, it, it does, it's an inside joke. Is it even? I don't even. I'm okay. just gonna light myself on fire. I'm just gonna light myself on fire. <laughs> um, welcome back to Beneath the Tide. We are here with our full cast finally. Woo! Now, now that we're sitting at five players and one dungeon dad. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, two dungeon dads now right. officially on the channel. Um. Yes. Oh yeah. Well, no, do I want? I don't know if I want that title. You can be. I think. Too late. I think you're. I'm Dungeon Dad. Sam is Dungeon Daddy. And, no. No. Um. Anyways, we're we're back with Beneath the Tide. Um. The full cast this time. Use a second session with us. I think. <laughs> um. We're second session this season anyway. Yeah, yeah. We're getting there. Uh. So we have, yeah, full cast, I'm excited. Uh, just getting off of the stream that we just did at 7 o'clock, which went horrendously bad. With that campaign, uh, it, Dungeon Pappy's a good one too, thank you, chat. Um, some announcements before we begin, I guess. Don't encourage them. Uh, this Saturday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, we're doing our charity stream for Extra Life. Um, and our goal was $300, we already hit it, even before the stream started. So I upped the goal to $600, so if we can double that, that's great. Uh, for that stream, there's four games of D&D &D over 12 hours. The first game, the cube that ate everyone, is about a giant gelatinous cube and an army of oozes destroying a town that the players have to get out of, and I'm running that one. After that, I believe we're doing Tomb of Horrors, and I'm playing in that one. Uh, and then I no, I think that's right. Your it's yours second. next. Yeah. yeah. Which uh, is... Yeah. Oh, from uh, 2 to 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, I will be DMing um, a one-shot called Fossil Fighters. Um, no relation to the video game. Uh, but basically, it's a Those party. Boring. Yeah, no relation, kind of. Uh, but it's a party of uh, characters uh, loosely based off of Native American culture. Um, and they have to fight a rampage, rampaging dinosaur that's been eating people. And it's going to be fun. Thematic, because yeah. eating people. Um, that's exciting. I'm def Obviously, I have to watch all this because I'm working behind the scenes, and I'm going to watch all of them anyway. Um, and after that is the Tomb of Horrors one-shot, ran by, by, by my buddy Steve. I totally forgot his name for a second. Of Classless Characters, so if you want to check them out, that's Classless Characters on Twitter. They have their own. It's an audio podcast, I think. I think they're starting streaming. I'm not sure yet. That he's running Tomb of Horrors, where I'm playing a 12th level goblin wild magic sorcerer with a wand of wonder. So it's going to be awful. And then the final uh, one shot for that charity stream is Grim Shade Mountain being run by Garrett. Hello. And I'm playing an awful character for that one too. <laughs> I forgot what I was playing in that one. <laughs> and it's going to be good, everyone. Uh, so that's that. Uh, we do have some giveaways. We, we set up some giveaways thanks to Kat here, which is going to be really great. I'm excited to do that. I'm excited to throw some people some stuff for supporting and watching and being nice people. Because um, there's some good giveaways. So, I don't know if I can talk about what the giveaways are yet. Uh, oh, sweet. So, mm -hmm. what are, I got the confirmation. What are the good what, what are the good ways? What are the giveaways then, Kat? I'll let you talk about that. All right, so uh, we actually um, have one copy of the uncaged PDF that we are going to be giving away during the stream. If you guys don't know the Twitter storm that just occurred, uncaged uh, just released on DMs Guild. Uh, I'll drop a link in chat here shortly so you guys can check it out. We have one copy of the PDF there to give away. We also have three copies of the TPK handbook. <laughs> um, I'll drop a link for those as well. You guys can check that out. I like TPKs. Uh, both are, yeah, both are really amazing. They both contain, uh, each book contains about 25 one-shots. 
Uh, TPK handbook is plug and play. You can plug it into any adventure and it gives you details on how to run the encounter. Um, the Uncaged anthology is basically a rewrite of several monsters uh, from their lore, give a uh, sort of feminist or minority twist to it. So it'll be really exciting. Uh, we also uh, have one special copy of Uncaged to give away to the person that single-handedly helped us meet our initial goal. So I'm yeah. excited to announce that as well. So those are the main ones. We also have a couple of DMs Guild uh, one-shot modules to give away as well by various authors. So it's all going to be really fun. Yeah. I'll be giving away some of my uh, adventures that I've written uh, and some of my classes and whatnot. No, those are pay what you want. Those are free anyway. Uh, I'll be giving away a copy of Fizzle Blimp's Sugarland, or giving away multiple copies of that adventure because it's ridiculous. And it, it's really fun. And yeah, it's really fun. It almost TPKs people. Um, so if you like TPKing your party like I do, then uh, tune into that. And yeah, Uncage Anthology looks really sweet. Uh, it's the first volume, I think, is what we're doing. And um, it's already a gold seller on DM's Guild. And it was released two days ago, yesterday. Uh, yesterday, actually. And it's, it went live at uh, midnight Pacific. And it's already a gold seller on DM's Guild. So that's pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening Saturday. So tune in for our charity stream. Um, if we do hit our $600 goal, I'm going to do something for the audience and for everyone that's part of the cast of Mimics and Monstrosities. I'm going to be running a Battle Royale one-shot where it's basically the cast playing 20th level characters, I think, and the audience has to come in and try to kill the cast off. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going with. It's a stupid idea, but it could be funny. Um, and then, um, sort of announcing this right now, July 24th, which is a Wednesday, when we usually record at 10 p.m. Uh, July 24th will be our year anniversary, since we started this July 27th. Um, we'll be doing a one shot again, July 24th, at 10 p.m., which is a Battle Royale ish one shot where the players have to fight a. <laughs> Tarask-sized Gundar, who is CR thirty, and will be, what, and will be played by Sam, and everybody else will be, else could play Gundar, and everybody else will probably be playing twentieth level characters, maybe seventeenth level characters. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to get the full cast, obviously, for that, and I want to have eight players for that one, I think, which means I kind of want to get some. Uh, I want to get some cast that you have seen in the past, like some favorite guest characters that we've had, and I'll try to get Jack back for that as well. Bring nothing nothing, nothing concrete, but that's what's planned for the anniversary one shot. Um, and uh, yeah, without further ado, I think it's time we uh, dive into some piracy. Before Actually, before we do dive into piracy stuff, don't, don't pirate stuff. Um, since, we are Twitch since we are Twitch affiliate now, you can donate down below, you can toss us money, you can give us bits, you can subscribe. Subscribers get a really cool Twitch chat uh, icon of Gundar, the dwarf bard, his head, is our Twitch subscriber emote. We also have, or Twitch subscriber icon, we also have Twitch subscriber emotes. I think the first tier subscriber emote that you can get is baby hands. Wait, oh, I don't have my baby hands. Uh, and I think second tier is fungal love. Cause I, great, I, we're all gonna die. I had to. I had to do fungal love because it's <laughs> it's the best. And I don't remember what the third tier is. Now I want to pause him for a moment because he promised us that was gonna die. When it's the not dying. Season started. It's not dying. You said, "Don't worry, we'll kill it." But much like any sort of fungal anything, it never goes away. Oh, here we go. I posted it in the chat. Oh, I can't really see it that well. That sucks. Small. It's a mushroom inside a heart, and it didn't really work out that well. Anyways. It's cute. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, Fungal Love, shout out to those of you who know what that is from the first campaign. Um, those of you who don't, don't look it up, I guess. <laughs> no, do. Go watch the first campaign. The whole Please thing. do. Sure yeah, do. please do. Please watch the first campaign. The thing. It's all on YouTube. Uh, so, go watch it. That's YouTube. It's easy to find. Um, so, yeah. With the Without further ado, let's dive into the fifth episode of Beneath the Tide. We're sitting on episode five right now, so let's do it.
so last week, um, the crew sailed away from Bleak Skull Island as it sunk beneath the waves after getting split in two by the ghostly pirate ship that r risen up from its depths. Bleak Skull still exists, but it just, it's now just in separate chunks floating around now. Um, and as they fled the pirate, sh the ghost ship before it sunk beneath the waves, they heard strange voices inside their head coming from somewhere on the ship. And as Mordecai and Eclipse were put to sleep in the hammocks uh, in the crew quarters of the whaling ship that they stole, um, to rest off their wounds from the encounter with the Sahawagans, um, Noose and Ash encountered this strange squid-faced entity uh, on the on the the decks of the whaling ship, who revealed itself to be Iliacene, one of the Illithid, and she quickly commandeered the ship uh, and made them believe that she was the captain of the ship and she was hiding out while the Sahawagans basically murdered everyone. <clears throat> and our crew ended up on the port island of Old Newport, where they decided, well, where Iliocene decided that the ship needed to be rebranded. So, she paid this triton named Giles Von Murphy the Eighth to repaint the ship from its stained, crappy wood to look black, painted straight black, but if sunlight hits it in the right angle, it's iridescent like a beetle sort of carapace with a shine on it. And she named the ship the Illithid and also paid for a mind flare, not mind flare, a squid-like ram to be on the front of the ship. And while that happened, the people that were still alive and again conscious decided to drag Mordecai and Eclipse through the port town in the sand <laughs> to go to the tavern and basically rest up and see what the tavern would have in store, which tavern is built inside the skeleton of a dead Tarrasque deep in the jungle. And um, I, Sorry, point of order, I did not drag Mordecai. I tenderly <clears throat> carried him like a baby. <laughs> True. Yeah, I suddenly have the image of this poor drunken beat the shit out of Shark Man just being <laughs> dragged. And uh, many miles. you're not wrong. <laughs> they uh, encountered one of these Scarlet Banner uh, sailors who was quickly quick to investigate them before being sent off because it's like, oh, we're on a whaling ship. What? We're not pirates. It's a whaling ship. What the fuck are we going to do with harpoons against pirates? So he quickly was like, oh, okay. He was like, oh, okay. And he sort of wandered off with Noose realizing that there was a corpse still on the boat that was cut in half. <laughs> So Noose disposed of the corpse by t stuffing it in a treasure chest, filling the treasure chest with water, and pushing it beneath the waves. And cutting his face off, that's right. Noose removed the face of the man and ke is keeping it on his person. Um, the group regrouped with Mordecai and Eclipse coming to consciousness, and they made their way into the jungles of Old Newport to find the tavern deep in the jungle. But they came across this strange obelisk in the jungle with a sort of stone-like building attached to it. And through curiosity, Ash touched the obelisk, which summoned a Belgura, which attacked the group, and it was killed eventually, but me wanting more fun to happen made Mordecai jump on the obelisk to do some cool monk flips off of it and kill stuff, summoned a Mesoloth, and the Mesoloth was also put down after nearly killing Mordecai <laughs> <laughs> with some poison gas that he pooped out um remind me to never uh miss a game again <laughs> and uh the party regrouped to kill the fiends stopped touching the obelisk and they tried to put noose into the temple ish building looking building the stone building on a stick so he the could trident. on the trident so he could pick up the supplies that were on the ground but as soon as noose touched the ground a pressure plate was activated it wrapped around his ankles, pulled him to the ceiling. He was freed eventually. Uh, he found a book that was made bound with human flesh with a screaming face on it. And noticing that there was a 60-foot down staircase in this stone building, thinking possibly, hey, we might return to this later. We'll see. 
but instead decided we should make our way to the tavern and rest up and see what um, tomorrow brings. And as they made their way to the tavern and the giant skeleton of the Tarask, yes, yes, what? 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 Well, I, as they got to the obelisk, he sort of, like, wanted to see if he could take apart that Mesoloth and yeah. harvest some stuff from it. Okay, we will get there. Okay. And, uh... We're bit, we'll pick up the session with uh, you guys sort of leaving the uh, the building, and everyone sort of beat to shit. <laughs> Eclipse, I think, has one hit point. Uh, no, I'm, I'm okay. I have 18. Oh! I don't you know what you're talking that. about. Uh, and I have eight. Oh, well. <laughs> Out of 30-something. Well. I have nine. It's not great, uh, but you're all standing there. Um at the uh, entrance of the, the stone building, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. And I'll pull up our Roll20 so I can get some background music going, because I totally forgot to do that, chat. <clears throat> so, uh, that happened. Yeah, at least we got some good loot, though. Was it really worth it? Your really? definitions of good loot and my definitions of good loot are very different. I got three packs of supplies here. I mean, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yes, but you also stole a man's face, so... You don't know that. You just haven't told anybody that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, true, yeah, nobody knows that he's on that okay. yet. What do you mean we don't know you stole someone's face? You've got, like, one right there on your hip, one's on your shoulder, the small of your back is, like, three faces stitched together. I assume they weren't given willingly. Most of them are animals, but there's definitely a uh, furbolg on there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's Justin's necromancer. No. <laughs> 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 but yeah, Noose, you're now in possession of this flesh-bound book that you found cradled next to a corpse. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, we're going to go to Devon? I could use a night's sleep in the bed, not on the bed. Right. You guys go ahead. I'm just going to I'm just gonna see if I can harvest some materials from this guy over here. Wait, wait, just don't, don't don't touch the obelisk on your way out, please. We don't want you. I don't want to do that. Wait, wait. What are you what are you harvesting materials from? The metal wasp. Yeah, whatever. Did it, it did explode. But there's still chunks laying around. Oh, okay, okay. I feel like we should not just leave you in the middle of the jungle alone. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll stay with him. Yeah, we'll just. I think we can just wait. Oh, uh, and at this point. Eclipse, you watch as your pink fur now goes back to its normal color. Oh, fuck. Did you all just see that? Uh -oh. Just pink? Uh -oh. you were... Weren't you just pink? Uh, I believe so. That's not a good sign. The blessings uh, of Pipkin have left you. Um. <laughs> um. The blessings of what? Huh? I mean, uh, a few a day or two ago, I, I kind of died. And then when I woke up, I was pink. Didn't really know what it meant, but um, it was weird. Noose said I was blessed or something. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yep. DM. Yes, hello. Do Illithid speak Abyssal? I do. Alright. Would I know that, though? Probably <laughs> not. Because uh, is generally... She was, able to, she was able to read the Abyssal on the obelisk. The, uh, oh yeah, you know that she knows it now because she read out what was written on the obelisk. That's correct. But okay. traditionally, they do not speak Abyssal. They speak Deep Speech and Undercommon. Okay. Um, then I'm going to go over to the obelisk and see if I can still read it, possibly. It says, if I remember correctly what it said, I didn't write it down. <laughs> I deleted my notes by accident. I think you said, no, you said the writing faded once we... Oh, that's correct. 
Yeah, because yeah, I correct. tried to read it afterwards and it adulted. Yeah. That's, that's correct. The writing is no longer there. I got right. you. Thank you. <laughs> um, you, uh, Il- Iliasin, um, say something in Abyssal, I think it was. I don't know. If the name is too difficult for you, you can just call me Captain. Uh, but, yes. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, and she's now the captain of the ship. I thought we already had a captain. I am the captain now. Il- Iliasin made I a scene. Yeah, Iliasin was- said it was her ship to begin with, and nobody rolled to see if you were telling the truth. So they just sort of... Every- and everyone just sort of I- believed it because you two were unconscious. We're sleeping. Yeah, and, uh, I didn't believe it. I was on... I- and I've, I'm supporting this new regime because I bought my position as first mate. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were already captain. <laughs> well, no, I was the captain. It was convenient for everybody. And then all of a sudden, when I tried to be like, I'm the captain. You guys were like, no, he's not. <laughs> so I was the captain of the fishing boat. Yeah. <laughs> Only when it was convenient for my crew. But you have purchased your way into well, first you know, mate territory. Yep. And so uh, Noose is the cook. That. And I'm not going to abuse that power at all. Uh, I'm, I'm, Noose I'm is going, the cook. I'm going to say something to uh, Elysine in Abyssal. Um, <laughs> just to see if I still know it, or else it'll come out gibberish. Okay. If I don't. Sure. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to try to say um, easy peasy lemon squeezy. She understands it. Cool. It's not gibberish, it's abyssal. Everybody else that doesn't know abyssal is just like, I don't know what that is. Great. I'm going to respond in abyssal. All right, that was weird. And then I'm going to say it under common. How about this one? (laughs) And nobody else knows under common, I don't think. So that does not pick up for anyone. Nope. Can I try deep speech? Maybe? I want to know what squeezy sounds like in a missile. <laughs> All the <laughs> <you know. laughs> I don't know. Uh, I was like, I was like, no, I'm in a missile. I'm going to say, no, I think I only know a missile. It was a, it came with the pink fur. Good to know. All right. Um, <clears throat> Wait, did it uh, really? <laughs> I said that in a missile. You didn't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair. So that was me asking, but all right. The, the oh, small, yeah. but yeah, I'm just gonna respond in a missile. So the small one said you were blessed by something. I mean, there was something in my head when I was unconscious. Something in your head. I can probably find it if you want me to remove it. Nah, that, that's <laughs> right. I think I'm good. You quit. Don't let her. Don't let her touch you. Oh, this is all in a missile. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, but but thank you for the offer. Keep all that right. in mind. Yeah, let me let me know. I'm always on the lookout for a sharp mind. All that good stuff. And then in common, I'm gonna say, let's go get drinks. What was all those horrible noises the two of you were just making? <laughs> we were making fun of your ass. Oh, Make, I just thought I was really call. drunk. I, no, but, <laughs> all right, okay. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh, news. Yes. <laughs> Please give me a check with your leather working tools while you play around with the Mesoloth chunks. You know the skin. It's great. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you're. Tra- let me know. What you're, let me know what you're trying to make again. Uh, well, he's when he's harvesting it. Oh, that's right. You're just harvesting. Yeah. His goal is the uh, poison, wherever the poison came from. But if he can harvest, if anything else looks good, he's going to go for that as well. Okay. Uh, his roll is 16. You harvest one of the venom sacks from one of its fangs, I guess. Ooh. This is good material. And right. while you're all sort of standing there, Eclipse, in your head, you hear the words, Find me. Nobody else hears it, only you. Uh, I'm going to keep that to myself. Sure. And then it says one last thing. It says, for we are entwined. 
And then do with that as you will. Oh, All right. <clears throat> uh, to myself, I'm going to say out loud, but like in a whispered voice. Oh, that was me. <clears throat> All right. Nis, you got what you wanted? Oh, yeah. All right. <sighs> well, uh, are we going anywhere? Yeah, we're going to be... You said drinks. Yes. Uh, anywhere else? Else? Or else? Can we go? Just go straight there. Mm -hmm. Well, that was the plan. I didn't All expect right. anyone to die. I'm gonna start walking back into town. To the Tawask. Yeah, you, you yeah. have to go deeper through the jungle to get to the tavern. It's not in town. I'm gonna go reason, walking. Yeah, the tavern is in the <laughs> middle of the jungle, where there's demon obelisks just right <laughs> off the road. <laughs> <laughs> As we're walking, I'm just going to say, all right, so I believe we've all learned a lesson. Let's not touch any things on the side of the road from now on. I didn't learn any such lesson. That was very fun. Noose is way all in right. the back. Walking very slowly. I can't say I'm not going to do it again either. Yes, don't, please don't stand on any more obelisks that summon demons. Uh, what's, what's Noose doing? Noose, Noose was hanging back, mm -hmm. walking slowly. Mm -hmm. Did anybody notice? I mean... Pro uh, I'd, I'd say try. maybe. Yeah. I mean... I don't. <laughs> I, care, I care about the tiny goblin because he's my brain supplier right now. <laughs> well, well Noose, Noose is going to let you guys keep walking unless, unless she don't. <laughs> unless she oh, don't so like, uh, are, you, are you coming? Or are you just going to stand back there? We'll come back, I promise. Right. Don't touch it. <clears throat> All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll catch up I with you guys. I know that look. Don't touch it. I will say, there's some very unsavable fiends I can get summoned from that. Uh. Don't do it. I could have sworn one in front of me. <laughs> I could have sworn when you said blue carapace and trident that we had summoned an ice devil and we were all about to die. <laughs> wow. So yeah, you guys make your way uh, down the pet jungle path, and about in about twenty minutes or so, you come to this open clearing in the middle of the jungle, and uh, you see this large terrasque skeleton. That is, and you see what appears to be a tavern built around the skeleton, and there's windows poking out between each of its rib cages. And the front doors of the tavern are its open maw. Right, what is that? Whoa. Uh, from what I understand, that is a Tarasque, I believe the person in town said. Uh, I don't know what that looks, is. Looks about right. I want to fight one. No, you you really don't. As, as, you, really as you say that, it starts to come alive. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on, I've got 17 hit points. Uh, let's take a nap first. Uh, get the goblin inside where he can't touch anything. Uh, you two literally just woke up, and so I imagine you're feeling uh, all right. I'm, I'm actually okay at the moment. Uh, I'm just a little worried about Ash wanting to fight one of these things in the near future. How do you not want to fight one of these things? I don't have to it's humongous! And? I'm not necessarily opposed to fighting one, just not necessarily in the state that we're in, because look at how big that thing is. I'm gonna hold up my rapier and my short sword. These are toothpicks! I only have one with Bill. And that is why no one will remember your name. And I'm gonna go <laughs> towards, the, towards the tavern. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you open the door and go in? Yes. I, I, I storm off dramatically. Ding, 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 as you open the door. And what you see before you, Ash, is a den of dead. No, I'm kidding. Um, Better not be. You see... <laughs> Everywhere we go, everyone's yeah. dead. So you see uh, the, we've got civilization doesn't... We're actually in a post-apocalypse. There's no... Um, yeah. So yeah, you see the tavern is built inside and around the skeleton of a long-dead Tarrasque. And inside you find a large three-story tavern... And in the far east corner of the tavern is a pipe organ made from conch shells. 
and coming from it is a joyful sea ch shanty with a man with no eyes, both eye patches, two peg legs playing along on it. You see people of various races and walks of life populate this tavern, but they're mostly merchants and sailors and fishmongers. Uh, you see that rusted lanterns with candles sit on each of the 30 tables on the first floor, and uh, behind the counter you see a tortle that is wearing a black bowler hat with a purple ribbon tied into a bow around the brim. This turtle is also wearing a long black frock coat with a hole cut into the back to allow the shell room to breathe. He is also wearing a lavender-colored cravat necktie. He stands about five foot seven and has gray pebbled skin, and he has a monocle with a gold trim around his right eye. Are they? Are, they, are these fishmongers in the Shakespearean sense or in the literal one? Like they sell fish. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna kind of. There's, there's a bunch of Dagonites. Raise my voice. Walking onto the cult of Dagon, uh, shadow over Ant's mouth all over again. Your road is busted. You might want to get that fixed. What you say to me? What you saying to me? Road busted. Might want to get that fixed. This this is not my problem. Just pulls out the bulgur head and tosses it on the the countertop. I mean. If that's going to fight everything that's trying to come to your inn, it might be your problem. Uh, the turtle looks at the uh, bulgur and bulgur ahead is sitting on the counter. Ah, uh, get that off me table. What? All right. Nope. Anyway. Oh. When did you get it? that off? <laughs> I, I'm sure. I'm sure he has his ways, and I'm just gonna sort of like put a tentacle and just like pat his head. Don't touch it. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna like lean down and pat up with one of your face tentacles? I imagine he comes to about my waist. My waist, my my, ten, my uh, tentacles are pretty. Yeah, her, her tentacles are down to her waist. Yeah. Noose is three foot two. That's about waist height. <laughs> I can like. So it's like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah. Like you're only two. You're only like two feet shorter than Ash. Yeah. The turtle sort of like adjusts his monocle. He goes, so, what can I do for all of you? Also, Sam, right. this, this is what you have to look forward to for your campaign. Oh, is it the, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can we get a round of drinks? What you looking for? Anything strong? Very well. I have lots of strong stuff. And he sort of, like, turns around. And he starts, like, grabbing, like, random bottles. And he's like, this is rum. Does he actually seem like he knows his way around the bar, or is he just kind of improvising? It's like he's improvising, like he's never owned a bar before. Okay, well, Mordecai being a professional drinker, not an alcoholic, thank you, <laughs> um, is going to glance around, look and see if he recognizes any of the labels. Uh, you recognize the bottle of rum he's holding? Uh, it's brewed, like, extensively from where you're from, which I believe is Storm okay. Rock. You're, I think you're from Storm Rock. Storm Rock. Yeah. yeah, this is brewed. This is rum that's brewed there, and it's it's sugar that's harvested from like the natural plant life that grows there, which is mainly like seaweed and stuff. It's they take the sugars, whatever sugars they can get out of the seaweed, and they make rum out of it, or they try to. So it's kelp rum. It's kelp rum, but you would know that if it's it's the rum that you're knowing that you think of or that you notice, you recognize. God, I can't talk. Um, and you know that it's struck yet. You know that it's about uh, ninety nine percent alcohol, and it's like two hundred proof. Mordecai's just like, <laughs> oh, definitely that one. <laughs> he's like, you should definitely have that one. He's like, and he's actually just gonna snatch it and just like, pop the cork, throw money onto the table, and start checking. He's like, uh, it's is this it's uh, twenty gold coins for the bottle. He throws twenty. I think I have like exactly twenty. Okay, everyone's yeah. all right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there goes all my money. He takes <laughs> he takes the twenty gold coins and you start necking that bottle of kelp rum. He hasn't had anything to drink since the Goblin place. So and it's I mean. called and it's called Storm Rocks. It's called Storm Rock. Storm Rock scum. Well, it's, it's better than fermented meat juice. <laughs> True. 
did New see where he got the bottle? Uh, uh, where he got it? Yeah, where where he picked it up from? Like, is it was it under the counter or was it? It was it was behind him on like one of the shelves where there's like tons of bottles of stuff there. Okay. Oh, is Mordecai drinking straight from the bottle? Just necking I'm it? Straight he is. Constitution yeah. saving throw. Alrighty. I'll have what he's having. He like just passes it over because I am now drunk. What'd you get? I know I'm drunk because that's a critical failure. Uh, so you're um, under the effects of poison for 24 hours. Fantastic. And you gain two, two, you gain the best part of this alcohol, two levels of exhaustion. Ooh. So you're just like, Ooh. <laughs> Oh I'm just gonna walk in and have a seat. And, uh, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the rest of the bottle and then go sit down with uh, Illy. Uh, I gotta read it out loud. Ilya scene. I'm gonna go sit down with her and just sip from the bottle. Uh, it tastes like it's salty at the start. It has like a it has like a kelp seaweed sort of taste at the start, uh, and then it slowly turns a little sweet, and then it burns like high heaven. It is Great. the most like potent alcohol you've ever drank, and even from like two sips, you can feel it already starting to affect you. <coughs> Any, anybody so, want some? <coughs> like salty sugar poured over horrendous alcohol. Great. Yeah, it's like salt water caramel with a cinnamon aftertaste. <laughs> so it, it's fireball poured over. Seaweed. <laughs> I don't know at this point. Fireball. Oh, yeah, there's fireball. no. I can't think of any salty alcohols. To be honest, I don't I'm think. Gonna... Oh, all what? Of it, all the water out of this water skin. Yeah. I'm gonna drink it all. What I can't drink, he's gonna pour out. Yeah, I want some. <laughs> oh, by the way, half the bottle's gone. Whatever he finally hands mm -hmm. it over. Um, two levels of exhaustion, kind of. Uh... <laughs> I, I think that'd be half the bottle. Full bottle is four levels of exhaustion. If you drink oh, a four, really dead. it is. If you drink a full bottle in one sitting, you die. That no, makes, yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, still at the bar, I'm going to uh, lean over to the bartender and say, "I'm not looking for something to strip paint off a boat. I'm just looking for something that tastes nice, perhaps has a good vintage to it. Ah, oh. wine or brandy." Uh, I I'll take a good a good whiskey if you have it. I has I have the I have the best thing you'd be looking for, sir. Oh, this accent I, is, is horrendous. And he sort of like <laughs> leans Re -re -re rethinking it for a Oh hell no. Hell no. Okay, all right. He leans under the counter and he pulls out this bottle of wine. It's like a two liter bottle of red wine. Is it does the does the label look like the same labels on the last two bottles of wine I had? <laughs> yep. All right, I'll take it. Sure, how much? Oh, well, I think that's a bit shit. So for this, I think you pay me five gold coins. I'll take it. Uh, and he hands you this five gold. He hands you this two-liter bottle of Montoza's finest. And then I will, as that's I take their it, finest. I hate to find their worst. <laughs> And then um, I'm going to, as I take it, I'm going to take it, I'm going to kind of pause for a minute while I'm holding it as if I'm expecting something. Yes, what's if you want? I'm not just going to drink this out of the bottle. Do you have oh, glasses? He the, oh, sorry, yes. Not many people get wine here. And he hands you five wine glasses for you and your friends. I pick up two and I leave the other three just on the counter. Um, okay. And I'm gonna ask, uh, do you know anyone that's in the mar that is in the tavern anywhere uh, anywhere in this fine establishment of yours that might be in the market for purchasing some gems? Well, I don't know anyone in here, per se, but back in town there is this merchant. I think it's it's a kobold. Um. Then there he's is. The, he's a, the only merchant you have. <laughs> well, we do have a general store in the market. Uh, on docks, there's a general store as well. All right, okay, all right. 
That is run by a lizard folk and a really old man. Failing that way for tomorrow. It's a little gun dark cop. <laughs> <laughs> Failing that way for tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much. And I'm just going to go sit down at a table near the rest of the party. Um, if, you, be if you want to find the name of the shop, it is called Friends. All right. Thank you. And I'll, yeah, I'll go sit down at a table, like, one or two away from the rest of the party. He, like, cl close enough um, that I can talk to them in a loud voice, but not, like, next to them. Yeah, sure. And he goes back to polishing glasses. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take another sip of the wine, and then I'm going to lean over the back of my chair and say, Hey-ish, fight me right no. now. Uh, no. As you take it, as you take it. Hey, to fight me right as, now. As you take another sip of the kelp rum, I need you to give me a constitution saving throw. All right, first roll of the night for me. 13 plus 2, 15. Cool. You're poisoned for an hour, and you take one level of exhaustion. Ish. Ish, fight me. Ish. Come here. Come here, fight me right now. I'm not going to fight you. I'll poke you with my toothpicks. I'm not going to fight you. And, Ish. um, uh, Ish. and just so the audience, audience knows and chat knows and everybody knows, we do are using the D and D Beyond Twitch extension, so when they update their status and their health on D and D Beyond, their exhaustion levels, their conditions, it'll show live to you all, so you can keep track of their health and everything. Oh wait, it's game does it really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If you hover over the, if you hover over the Twitch window, it'll show you everyone's character sheet stuff. But yeah, you take a drink, another drink of that rum, and you are now poisoned for an hour, technically, and uh, level. First level exhaustion. Great. Ish. Ish, I want to poke you with my rapier. I'm not going to fight you. I just had a long afternoon of fighting demons. I'm going to sit down and enjoy a nice glass of wine. I'll show you who's going to be remembered. I'm going to fight uh, you, Ish. No, no, no. No one is fighting anyone else. We're, we're, we're not doing this here. No, no. If Mordecai wasn't unconscious and at 8 HP, he'd probably accept that <laughs> challenge. No, no, we're not fighting just yet. Um, we're going to rest, recuperate, and uh, then if you would like to fight one another, you can. You can challenge him for his first mate spot. <laughs> yeah, I'll challenge you for the first, the first face spot. This uh, is why she's the captain. A black heap. Yes, what you like? Uh, based on my friend here, uh, can I get a womb? Can we get wombs? If you, yes, you've made. How how many wombs can we get? Like, how much are wombs? Yeah, how, how much for a womb? Um... They be yeah, about. I think she's not saying room in the list would be hookers. They they be about fifty gold pieces a night. That's ridiculous. They're very nice rooms. Trust me. Well, he's trying out only one. Let's, let's just show me one then, because I'm not I'm not throwing down fifty gold without seeing a room. He gestures over to the two-legged uh, organ player with two eye patches because he has no eyes, and he's sort of like that. He's like. Follow me, little one! And he makes his way up the stairs. Oh, I blink it. Wait, wait. How, <laughs> how, does, how does the blind guy know the total gesture to him? Can we, can we also can we also, can we also back up and go, go over the two-legged description there? Two, <laughs> two peg legs. no legged. Oh, okay, because you just said two-legged, and I was like, oh, <laughs> am I missing something? Oh, yeah, yeah I know. Two peg does legs. Is he normally supposed to have two <laughs> four legs? He has, he, <laughs> he has peg leg, two peg legs. Oh, okay. And so he he's no leggings. Yeah, and he makes his way up the stairs, feeling his way up as news follows. And he, take, <laughs> he takes you to the third floor, news. I'm still amazed he knows he was gestured to. Yeah, and uh, imagination. The hallway is lined with just really nice, ornate like rugs of like silks, and then, and he opens up a door and shows you inside, and you see if you see. No bed. No, I'm kidding. Um, you see, um, a, about a like thirty foot, thirty by like twenty foot room, um, and inside the that's actually small. It's like a sixty foot room, 
Uh, and uh, inside the room, you see a four-poster king-size bed with, you know, the curtains drawn all around it. About four nice dressers. Uh, in the center of the room is a... Um, is a... Like a giant sort of like sitting area with like nice p pillows and cushions to sit on. In one of the walls is a fireplace that's roaring, and you notice that one of the win the window of the room is built into the rib cage of the terrasque and sort of peers out in between the ribs, and looks out over the jungle. And you can see the uh, port town from here. Damn, Blinky! I guess you guys aren't full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and Nusa just turned back around and uh, throw down fifty gold. <laughs> Very nice. You have room. First follow. First room to the left. Yeah, all right. Thank you. And yeah, you make you make your way to your room. <laughs> it's total shit. <laughs> all right. Uh, Mordecai is going to sneak a little bit more of that alcohol, by the way. Uh, I'm, I'm not holding it anymore. Aren't you still passed out? Uh, he didn't... Well, technically unconscious is a bit far-fetched. He's only poisoned and exhausted. We aren't passed what out. What was that all? Yeah, he's only sec second level exhaustion. Oh, okay. Yeah. He tries to come for it. I'm just going to wrap a tentacle around it, and I'm just going to look at him. I'm just going to shake my head, and I'm going to point. Are, are, are you trying to? Are you trying to tell me something? Or uh... let us have the, the rum. I want more rum. Can I get some milk? <laughs> we don't serve milk here. I want some milk. We don't serve milk here. It's disgusting. Do you have two eggs, some vodka, and some hot sauce? That'd be great. What is hot sauce? It's like juice have... from peppers. No, we don't have hot sauce. Does hot sauce not exist? Can we just like go out in the jungle, pick some ghost peppers, and like make a killing on the market? Like forget <laughs> pirates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Like we if it doesn't exist, yeah, we didn't do this. <laughs> Um, so as you're, like, sitting down there getting incredibly uh, intoxicated, well, two of you are getting incredibly intoxicated. Yeah, Eclipse. I'm, drink, I'm slowly working my way through my giant bottle of wine that should hopefully last me more than a day this time. Uh, Eclipse, before. you hear the same voices as before. I have brewer tools, by the way. I don't know why we keep paying for alcohol. Uh, yeah, Noose, what are you looking to do there, buddy? Uh, Noose is gonna go up to Ash before he, get, before he gets about as hammered as everyone else. I'm drinking slowly and sipping and enjoying. I am not guzzling. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, hey, Ash. Ash. Hey? Uh, I think it would be a good idea to take inventory of everybody's stuff. I I have something that I can do, uh, and the book made me think of it. Um, But it would be best if we had all of our stuff in one place when I use it. I can detect really bad and really good stuff. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. All right. I thought you meant like all of us pile up your, our stuff with you and look away for a minute or something. And I was going to <laughs> assume this is a really bad attempt to steal from us. Well, that'd be cool too, but... <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't put it past you, but I would expect better from the execution, which is why I was concerned. Um, right. But, I suppose, I mean, does it have to be, like, piled up, or can it just be, like, where everyone is, like, while it, people are holding it and has it, have it in their bags? I don't know if it's a good idea to do it in front of everyone. That's fine. All right. Perhaps once everyone is ready to go to bed, we can meet up in a room and then do it? Yeah, that sounds good. I bought, I bought a room. Oh, lovely. Family yeah, beds. I... Well, uh, yeah, based on the ones they showed me, for example, there's like a big king size bed with like a bunch of other stuff. I mean, I got dibs on the dresser though. 
All right, you can. I, you know, I was going to call it, but I'll because since you paid for it, I suppose we'll have to just let you have it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Show him who's boss news. <laughs> right. This is why you're my chef. <laughs> all right, if you if you guys are gonna be all, all fine and everything, I'm gonna go see what I can make out of my materials in the world. All right, I have a spare glass here, and if you would like to pour yourself one, uh, I, if you could, sure. You, yeah. Help yourself. And he puts it all into his mouth, and then puts it into his water skin. <clears throat> all right. I don't know what I expected. I don't know what I should have expected. Thank you. All right, and then Noose can, is going to go back to his room. Okay, Noose, you make your way to your room. And as you do, walk into the bedroom. Do you close the door? Yes. You close well, it. What's the room look like before I close the door? I just want to open the door and look at it. The, the room or the door? The room. I open the, open the door, look at the room. What do I see? It's the same as the room I described. They all look the same. They're all, ident- they're all identical, yeah. Excellent. All right. And he closes the door. Nothing no, crazy. Nothing crazy. Guys, my fur's not right. pink anymore. He closes the door. Guys, okay. my fur's not pink. It was pink earlier. Now it's not. <laughs> um, what are you gonna do in your room, there, News? News is gonna see if he can't finish that blowgun with the darts. All right. Uh, give me a survival check. Or a check with your tools, whichever you okay. prefer. As tools. Fifteen. All right. Um, I'd say you spend the better part of an hour or so crafting, the, finishing off the carving of the bone into a blowgun. Excellent. Um. Mm-hmm. And then he will uh, take that ruby mm-hmm. and grind it into a dust. Okay. Uh, and what is Mor- what's Mordecai? You said um? Oh, um, in his drunken stupor, uh, he's go- uh, Mordecai is going to reach into his bag and pull out uh, what looks like an easel and... Um, roll out like some sort of makeshift canvas. Uh, okay. Nothing too fancy. It's like something that you can just like kind of tack onto the easel itself or stand. Sure. Yeah, easel. I think that's the right word. All right. Um, anyway, and then he's going to very loudly and boldly exclaim, you're all my friends. I'm going to paint every single one of you. Stand as still as possible. And um, uh, Eclipse is going to freeze like this. But really, you're just gonna start painting in the middle of the middle of the pump. And right now. Die deeply. But are you gonna stand still? No. Am I doing it, Mordecai? Am I doing it? You're doing it. It's, it's just fine. Um, let me do it. At this point, I'm gonna look over at Ash. Can, can I have a glass? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do do performance with your painter's tools if you have them. Obviously, you do. Uh, oh, performance and do it with disadvantage because of exhaustion and poison. <laughs> hey, well, that's a critical success. That is. That was a twenty and an eighteen. Uh, eighteen plus four. That is um, twenty-two on a painter's check. So In disadvantage while drunk. Surprise! Animal. Surprisingly, while drunk and on the verge of passing out you paint some actually you get to work painting some really lifelike portraits of your friends <laughs> so that's uh, that's pretty much what he spends the rest of the night for finally falling asleep doing are you falling asleep in the chair just passing out in the chair uh he's passing out standing up face on the easel so despite the fact that he just painted this amazing painting 
He's now wearing half of it on his face. Sounds good. I somehow managed to climb up onto the skull of the Tarasque. <laughs> okay. Outside. Yeah, outside. Oh god, that's so tall. Um, give me a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage. Do it. Oh, the second one was a nat 20. Uh, but that's 14. First one was a 9. Uh, I'll say you like kind of get halfway up and you slip and fall off. And then you're determined, so you, you spend the better part of maybe two hours trying to climb to the top of the skull. You eventually get to the top of it and pass out on top of it. Great, that's all I wanted. So you're now sleeping on top of the head of the Tarasque. Yes. And Morde I'd... Mordecai's pass out, standing up face, on the in the paint. In the paint. Uh, like, I there... guess he won't ruin the painting because I want to sell that. Uh, he'll just like in the the thing. Way of the drunken painter. Whatever. Sure. All right. Uh... Uh, was there something you were gonna whisper earlier? Because it sounded like you were, and then it was like got distracted. Um, oh, I said you hear the same voices from before. Okay. Yeah. Um, what is Ilyasin and Ash doing while all this just went on? We're just probably, I just, I, and while he's painting, I just, you know, there's the glass that Noose didn't really use, so I slide that over to the other chair, and place the bottle in between, and then gesture to the empty chair when she says, can I have a glass? Yeah, after he uh, suggested that he was going to be painting everyone, I just sighed deeply and, can I have a glass, please? All right, yeah, we'll just sit there and just drink wine responsibly like adults. <laughs> yeah. All right, and yep. what is adults? <laughs> and yeah, so two hours or so pass, and that's when Eclipse. So, Captain, what? Yeah. So, Captain, what are you? Uh, what are your plans with this ship? Do you have any? You know, you have a f plans for the future. Do you have ideas of where we're going with this, or just making it up as you go? Both. <laughs> Fair combination. Uh, first, I need to make sure that my crew is in a slightly better state of mind before we actually attempt to sail this. Um, That'll be a, quite a challenge, but all right, yeah. good, good on you. Yeah. So that's that is my first order of business. My second order of business is to get as rich as humanly oh. possible. The fair and goal. Make as many upgrades to this boat as possible, or get a new one. All right, straightforward. All right, I like it. Sorry about that. My next goal is a cannon. I like the sound of that. Ooh. Is it possible to get a large enough one that I could climb inside of it and then use it to launch myself at, into other boats? I like where your head is at. You, that, this is why you're my first mate. I'm your first mate because I bought the position, but I suppose this is why I'm staying your first mate. Exactly. <laughs> Unless you lose the dole tomorrow, apparently. <laughs> I'm not doodling anyone. It's more of an, uh, it was more of an appeasal than an actual duel him. It's going to be like an anime that. style fight. I was, if, 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 if. If uh, Eclipse pushed uh, pressed the issue, Ash was going to find the nearest coat hook, pick her up, and just hang her like by the <laughs> like by the scruff of the neck from a coat hook. You oh. Yeah, thing. Oh. <laughs> um. So while else this is happening, Noose, what else are you doing in the bedroom? Oh. Uh. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> As you should be. <laughs> what with this. Well, he knows he knows he should wait until everybody has their stuff around. But he pulls out the book. And uh, yeah. and what are you doing with the book? He's gonna he's gonna look at it. Okay, it's bound in human flesh, a screaming face on the front of it. And then he pulls out the human the human face that he carved out. Okay. He tries to compare to see, like, if anything's 
missing something like because he, he kind of likes the what's going on there but he wants to make sure that the face is good enough to kind of replicate it. Like um, if it needs to be bigger, or if it needs to be stretched. Or... It looks like it might need to be stretched a little bit. Um. Oh god, I can't... How are you holding this sliced off face? Are you holding it over the book? Are you holding it on your face? Well, he puts the book on the ground, and he's kneeling down, and he's holding the face up in front of it, and then off to the side, and just kind of like... Probably stretching it because you said it and other stuff. Okay. Um, so when you when you cut the face off, did you clean it at all, or is it still bloody? Uh, he rolled it up and had it in his pack during the day, the events of the day. <laughs> all right. Um, Thank you very much. <laughs> let me just read my notes here. Yeah, sure. Oh, great. I didn't expect to, I didn't expect you to do this with the book. Um, fantastic. Um, so as you sort of like unfurl the face and like sort of like hold it over the book, you see a droplet of blood drips off of the face and onto the book. And you watch as the blood looks like it's being swallowed by the book, like absorbed into the pages, and the book lets out a sighing sound, like uh. oh. Well, hello. I can't believe this happened. Oh, I didn't expect it to happen. I didn't... Oh, this is so good. Oh, uh, um... Justin, you should know what's behind I didn't expect him to hold a bloody face over the book. Um, so, you watch as... <laughs> Why not? You watch as the <laughs> How book... How did you not expect it? <laughs> you watch as the book floats up into the air and opens up. Oh. And you watch as a black and red swirling vortex forms around the book. Whoa, new steps back. <laughs> and you really and you watch as this arm, a massive arm, starts crawling out of the vortex. News bangs on the door. Guys, guys, guys! <laughs> and he opens it. <laughs> do you choose, who chooses to go up? Uh, Ash and Illicene, do you hear this and decide to go up? I don't know, let me roll a perception check. Yes, yeah, same! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hear it. <laughs> no, okay. Let's see. I got an eight. You don't hear it. I hear it. So hear it. you hear a new screaming. Oh dear. Um, nice vintage. You're, you're certainly not wrong. However, I think your goblin is dying. Correction, our goblin is dying, but... <laughs> Down the glass and pick up a trident and stand uh, up and be like, "That does sound concerning." Sixteen and <laughs> notice that you're on. Are you? You're sleep. Uh, you're sleeping. Did you? I rolled with disadvantage. So. Yeah, you'd wake up. Okay. Um, uh, I'll let you. I'll let you roll one. I'll let you roll one of your hit dice, uh, Mordecai. Oh. Oh. And everybody else that was everybody else that hasn't heard that has heard this. I'll let you. I'll let Eliasine and Ash roll hit dice too. Oh, fantastic. I am unconscious. Outside. I didn't expect this to happen. I really didn't. I there's there's a warning in the book. If you would have Whatever. Monks are D eights, right? Or are they D tens? Expect D eight. Monks are D eight. Woo, I only regained two hit points. Sweet. Woo, oh wait, plus con. constitution modifier, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I regained five. So Type, have this all set up on your thing so everyone can see everyone get TPK'd real quick. Because this went really bad. Um, so It's ill to seal all over again. Mordecai, you wake up. You hear, because you hear news screaming and pounding on the door upstairs. People in the tavern are like, you hear the, the turtle behind the bar goes, What is happening upset? And he's like, Well, get him, don't worry. Oh, okay. And um, you guys start noticing that you guys notice that, like, the tables and everything down here start shaking rapidly, like... Ooh, that um, concerning. I guess being the fastest in the group, I'd probably end up making it up there first. Yeah, sure. You book it up there with your yeah, monk speed. And you see this portal. You see this portal. Well, you see the bedroom doors. Is it open or closed? I can't remember if you opened the door, News. You opened it, yeah. yeah. That was like... So, Mordecai, you get to the top of the... You get to, like, the landing, and you see, like, into his room... And you see that the 
this the flesh tone that he found is floating in the air open and there's a swirling portal around it of purple and red and there's a giant like red arm coming out and at the end of the arm where a hand would be is a pincer mm. uh, being what I am I'm going to immediately run in and try to punch the book closed He's like, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's just like. Do we like buddy. get to the top of the Fun. stairs? He's doing yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, Ash and Yellow Scene, we get to the top of the stairs and see him running in and punching a. Try to punch this floating book close where a large red arm is snaking out of that has pincers on the end of it. Wait a second. I'm just going yeah, to look isn't at it? Ash and I'm just going to be mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. Well, it, the book absorbed the droplet of blood, so there is no blood in sight. Okay. This is so bad. Let me just uh, let me just roll something real quick. So, oh, that could that's not bad for you guys. I didn't open the book. I swear. I feel like you opened the book. I didn't. Uh, Don't worry, little buddy. I got you. Noose, noose. Uh, crowbar. <laughs> um. Mordecai, as you go to punch the book, I need everybody to roll initiative. Everyone that's up here to roll initiative, please. Oh, bollocks. Here How long will it take for Eclipse to wake up? Never, because you're outside on top of a, a while. Track. You're not hearing any of this. Yeah, a while. Yeah, great. So it can't oh. be a TPK, because true. someone true. Live. So yeah, let me know what you guys get for let me know what you guys get for initiative, please. Fourteen. Fourteen for Ash. Fifteen for Ilyasine. I guess I technically get my surprise round, and then my initiative starts. Sure. Uh, you punch yeah. the book. You try to punch the book closed. Uh, I'll say, yeah. Nothing happens. It's still open. Hits hits the arm and bounces back open. Yeah, just boom. Hey, <laughs> we got a short all? rest then, right? You did. Yes. No, we did. Well, yeah. one hit dice for those of you that were sort of resting a little bit. Oh, it was just one hit die. Yeah. Wait, it was yeah. more than it was more than an hour though, right? Oh, true. So yeah, short rest. So you get whatever you want. My bad. Yep. Nice. That For those of you that were resting. Those. All right. Well, that one didn't go as spectacularly. So yeah, uh, initiative. Uh, what did Noose get for initiative? Sixteen. Cool. Uh, Mordecai. Uh. That's gonna be four. Oh no! <laughs> I remember what my dexterity was. Plus, de plus disadvantage. Great. Four. Oh, no, no, no. That was with disadvantage. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. All right. So you guys watch. Exhaustion. So you guys, yeah, you guys watch as Mordecai runs and tries to punch the book closed. Nothing happens. The arm snakes out a bit more, and you watch as this large, like ten foot tall fiend slowly crawls out of the book. It's got two massive clawed feet. And a large torso with very big, what appear to be shoulder pads that are red as well, and just sticking out with spikes. It has two very large arms with pincers on the end, and then below that are two human-looking arms with fists. And then on its head sits this massive, almost bestial wolf-like head with a fanged maw, pointed ears, and two curved black horns that go back. And this ten-foot-tall fiend just stands up and. Finishes crawling out of the book, and he watches the book just slowly blinks through the portal and vanishes out of sight. What? Uh. <sighs> Whose turn is it? And this thing just looks and goes, <laughs> and everyone in the tavern down below hears that. <laughs> and Where do I hear it? Abyssal? And Eclipse, you. Get woken up on top of the Tarasks go by this. Oh, uh, now it's a TPK. Uh, uh, who woke me up? <clears throat> I'm gonna look down and see if there's anything below. Patrons, outside. patrons running out of the tavern, and the bartender's also running out too. The turtle. He's. What did they do? He's like something upstairs. Big scream, roar, and he keeps running. 
Oh, for God's sake. All right. I'm I will gonna... say this is an encounter. <laughs> you can run away from. <laughs> I was going to say, everyone yeah. for themselves, the rendezvous at the boat. Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, I'm technically point turned... blank with this thing, and I'm going last. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good luck. <laughs> oh, um, everything went so well. That's what all over again. Drunk running at the boat. <laughs> everything went so it. bad. I'm going to. I'm gonna pick up Noose by the head with the tentacle, and I'm gonna just carry him out of there, like, uh-uh. Um, Eclipse, I'll tell you in a second. Eclipse, please roll initiative for me, just... Yep. Uh, for the time being. Am I still you... drunk? Oh, yeah. And you're outside of the tavern, too, on top of the terrace skull, 30 feet up. <gasps> that was another nat 20! Alright, 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 alright. 17 <laughs> plus... Cool. Five! Holy shit! Nice. It's like it's like twenty-two, I think. Cool. Um. So yeah, you'll actually go first. Um, right. But you're on top of the skull outside. That's so that you're thirty feet up on the skull. Mhm. Mm the tavern ground floor is, is about forty feet by about four, forty feet by twenty, and then this they you have to get to the third floor, so you'd have to go up uh forty feet of stairs to get to where they are. So you're a decent amount away. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm going to... You can also try to... Yeah, there's windows everywhere, too. Yeah. I'm going to... Um, uh, to uh, feline agility. Mm -hmm. uh, double my movement speed. For sure. Uh, running down the <laughs> spine of the Tarrasque. Yep. Feet. yep. Bonus action dash. Another 60 feet. Yep. Um, and then I'm going to be standing like outside, like above the window of this room. Yep. And then I am going to cast Prestidigitation mm -hmm. um, and create um, a the image of a face of a T-Rex just outside the window. And then with any remaining movement I have, I'm just going to run. Okay. So, as we get to news, you guys all see the sort of T-Rex had appeared at the window. Oh, great. This day got even worse. <laughs> uh, oh, God. This turned out badly. Like, and, oh, God. Now we can uh, and, with, and with that, news, it's your turn. Uh, As you're standing, like, ten feet away from this giant fiend, that basically takes up the whole of the room. Well, not the whole of the room, but, like, the height of the room, almost. How far away is news from... Mordecai. <laughs> He's like five feet in front of you. Oh, so he, so I can just touch him? You can touch him. Alright. Uh, Noose, he was going to use this spell for something else, but... <laughs> <sighs> He's going to reach out and cast protection from evil and good on Mordecai. And then fucking book it. Yeah. Wait. I, I, I mean, you're clear, right? So I think you can like what regain the spell. Nope. Nope. So protection from evil and good, and you're booking it where? Uh, where's the clearest path to retreat? He's uh out the door, out the door, like five feet down the hall and down the stairs. All right, we're running. <laughs> <laughs> It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Running. And he slaps, he slaps Mordecai on the way out. <laughs> Protection <laughs> from evil and good. <laughs> and you guys watch yeah. the sort of Noose turns around and Noose summons this thing. He's like, nope. Turns around and just runs out of the room as a T-Rex head appears in the window. Strangely enough. <laughs> He's running by just like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ilyasine. I just... <sighs> What have you done? <laughs> and I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not oh even going to run. I'm just gonna calmly turn around and I'm going to calmly walk down the stairs. I'm going to pick up the goblin by the head. And I'm just going to continue walking. We're going to destroy another island, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm just going to pick up the goblin. I'm just going to nope down the stairs, basically. Okay, with noose house in your hand. <laughs> no, no, my tentacle. I oh. picked him up by with the tentacles, just oh, and he's I'm just like in front of you. <laughs> yeah, he's he, no, he's like about like eye level, so I can just glare at him. Uh, sorry, Noose not 
let that like <laughs> slide. Oh yeah, contest it then. Sweet. Like, I've always wanted to try this because I have this thing, these tentacles. Like at the nice. soonest possible moment, Nice is gonna swing a dagger at you. So <gasps> whatever whatever you want me to roll, roll. roll. Uh, what are you rolling fair. right now? Uh, all right, if she's going to pick you up, you can go to stab her with your dagger. <laughs> yeah, never suddenly grab a frightened goblin without any. I'm all right with this. Sorry. No, you're chill, dude. Too many, pe too many people have been grabbing noose lately. <laughs> all right. The only well. person who can grab noose is noose. Uh, yeah, that's a 16 plus 6. That'll hit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> TPK. TPK. Yay! Oh, man. And that's seven damage. Hey! I'm just gonna look at him. Do you want to live or not? <laughs> Don't touch me. I mean, your short little stubby legs are not going to be able to move quite as fast as us, so I would rather you keep up and not fall behind. All right, sorry to have to do this then. Uh, I need an intelligence save. Oh shit! Are we still really? <laughs> yeah, huh? makes sense. You have, the actions, you have the actions to do all that. I don't know how how we're doing this. Yeah, it's a, this is still part of combat, so uh, it's not your turn. Oh, it is your turn, but I will say I used my reaction to. Like yeah, something. yeah. I attempted to pick up. I attempted to pick up. He used his reaction to stab me. I'm gonna use my action. I need an intelligence save. Isn't the pick okay. up an action? Yeah, the pick up would have been yeah. the action. Oh well, in that case, uh, contest grapple, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Eighteen plus zero. Do I need to roll mine still? I yeah. Think I still need to yeah. All right, well, you win, so I don't pick you up. You fall on your Sorry. Butt. I'm yeah, just going right. to... No, dude, you're good. I'm just going to keep walking, then. Oh, man, this is going right. to go so bad. Die, then. <laughs> All right, you can die. And I'm just going to nope out the front door, basically. Okay. Uh, Ash, how's it going over there? <clears throat> All right, uh, so I'm standing just in the hallway seeing this thing. Uh, are there are there windows in this hallway? Yeah, uh, there's no windows in the hallway. Windows are only in the bedrooms. Okay, There are there... Bed, there are bedrooms, though, that are not this one, right? For sure. There's a lot okay. of them. I'm just going to go to the next door and throw the door open. Yep, you do it. And then I'm just going to run and dive through the window. Oh, no! Okay, so the the ribs of a Tarrasque, I'd say, is probably like 50 feet. All right. So 5d6. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the fastest way to get to the first floor. I think our stream uh, got messed up because because Muse disappeared. Yeah, he vanished. Oh no! Oh no! All right, he said his computer completely froze and he disconnected. Cool. Um, yeah. I'm gonna rearrange the windows a little bit then. Oh, uh, one second, chat. People oh, watching. Wait. Oh. Oh yeah. yeah, where am I? Yeah, mute. Yeah, Muse. <laughs> mute. Muse. Left, so I have to rearrange chat windows, and I'm gonna have to rearrange them when he comes back again. Oh, there we are. There. Uh, I don't like that. I wish I could like set windows to not move around like that. That'd be cool. Sorry, everyone. Chat. No, I'm sorry, everyone. God. Ash, you take <laughs> you take 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Eh, that's fine. All right, I'm not are raging, you? but I probably should have been, but. I hit the. Can I make an acrobatics check to try and like hit the ground and keep running so to lose less movement? Uh, sure. All right. Use the momentum. Hey, he's hey, back. He's back. Do I have to fix Seven. the chat? Do I have to fix the chat windows again? Uh, yeah, I, think so. I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So seventeen so. on the acrobatics. Hey. Seventeen on the acrobatics. Yep. Okay. You keep running. All right. So I just then. So that, however long the room, I don't know how long the room was. It was like, it's about a 40 foot room. Oh, wow. Okay. So it took, for like, 
length door to window? Yes. Okay, so then that would have been one movement to get to 10 feet from the door or from the window, dive out, so then I'm like 20 feet from the base of the building. <laughs> okay. Yep. Nope, 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 nope. You see the face of a T-Rex floating next to the window. <laughs> I look up and it's just the head of the T-Rex. Yeah, yeah. just the head. It's off into nothingness. And you see yeah. Eclipse like dangling over the window. I thought, she, I thought she turned and ran after that. Oh, did she? Yeah. With oh, that's right. That that's right. That. So you don't see her. You just see the floating T-Rex head. Yeah. <laughs> Does Eclipse see, just hear the shattering of glass and just seem... Uh, <laughs> See Ash just go flying up. Um, to the ground. Mordecai would hear that. Mordecai would also hear the shattering glass as you jump out, and now he's in the room alone with it. <laughs> he's, Ash vanishes. The sound of a door slamming open. The sound of glass breaking next door. And uh, the creature just sort of, which I bet Sam knows what it is. Uh huh. Um, just sort of looks down at you, Mordecai. Given that my weapon is a reskinned pike, I'm very concerned. <laughs> looks down at you. Ha <laughs> ha. Looks down at you, and is going to hit you with t with its. Uh, it's not distracted by the T Rex. Balls. It's gonna punch you twice with its fists. It might have true sight. I don't know. Oh, let's Maybe. see. Actually, oh, it totally does. Oh, oh yeah. It's tragic. Wait, what? <laughs> it punches you once, and it's gonna go to punch you once in the face, Mordecai. Oh, does it have a multi attack? It does. It has disadvantage though because of that protection from good and evil. Oh, that's yeah. right. Okay, so that's a good thing. Um, so, oh wait, I didn't realize how. Uh, that's an eighteen to hit. That hits. Oof. As it like comes. That's disadvantage. Yeah, as it comes down on top of your head and just punches you on top of the head, um, you take. You guys abandoned Mordecai. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Um, you take uh, six bludgeoning damage. All evil, it's fine. Oh, you take okay. you take six bludgeoning damage from the first punch. The second punch yeah, is I'm gonna go. Ones, it's all good. Okay, the second punch is gonna go for an uppercut. Okay. Run, Mordecai, run. Uh, oh no, he, he. I don't know if I can if I actually play my character. Uh oh no. Run. Uh that that is a sixteen to hit. That hits. Yeah. Oh, fuck, man. My AC is a 15 because I rolled badly for stats. You take 9 bludgeoning damage. Mm, okay. Just um, I was at 21, <laughs> so now I'm at... So minus the 8, and then minus the, what, 9? Yeah. Is that what you said? No, I thought it was 6. It was 6 and 9. Oh, 6 and 9, yeah. It was 15. Nice. Okay. Damage. Okay. Yep, and yeah, just be sure to keep those updated on the D&D Beyond cheat so the audience can see that happen. Uh, I would love to. I'm restarting my computer. Oh, okay, never mind. completely crashed. You're viewing me through my phone. That's why it's all foggy. Um, and then... Fun times. And then it's going to reach down with one of its pincers... Three Yeah. You like it, And it's gonna try to try to hit. Actually, it's four arms. No, it's not gonna go for that. It is going to do something else. Let's do it. Um, do this. It is going I'm to. Die just like Ula still did, but much more stupidly. It's it's going to cast. <laughs> it's going to touch itself with one of its pincers. And you watch as it you watch as it lifts off the ground a little bit, and okay. it and it flies out the window, okay. taking an attacker opportunity from you, or as how many? Yeah, one one attacker opportunity. Uh, does a twelve hit? No. <laughs> so you you go to hit it, but it just flies out the window. Um, and it's, and yeah, Ash, you see this giant fiend just come crashing through the window, and now it's flying, and now it's flying, and it is, that's all it's going to do, and that's Mordecai's turn. Alright, um, uh, I'm a level 3 mug, do I have that feather fall ability yet, or is that level 5? Okay. I can certainly check. Yeah, the slow ball. 
Oh yeah, I, I, I would love to look personally, but I can't. Yep, I got you. Uh, so I got your sheet open right now too. Fourth level. Fourth level. It's fourth level. Oh okay. yes. And you took. So I don't have the slow pull. And but... you took. And I think you took fifteen points of damage. So you're sitting at thirteen. You also might be the safest one right now because it's going the opposite direction from. Yeah, there. it went outside. Yeah. If I if um if we weren't able to. Well, if it wasn't counted as a short rest and we only got to roll that one, I'd be dead right now. So, uh, Fun times. yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, climb out the window. Okay. Oh wait, you should have, because you rested as well. I mean, would I? Do I get hit dice, DM? Yeah, you'd you'd get short dice, short rest, hit dice. Cool. I'm just gonna roll the. Yeah, I, I thought he said we all got that. Cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, be like, uh, okay, I guess that's all we're doing, and climb out the window. Yeah, and it's floating like twenty feet away in the air as you climb out the window. I wonder if I can make that. I wonder if I can make that jump with the double jump distance. No. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh. Yeah, climb out the window, drop down, and then try to catch up with the rest of the Okay, bullets. drop down, that's 50 feet. No, 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 climb down. Okay, you're climbing and down. Then... Okay. Yeah, so i probably make it halfway down the wall. Yeah, you're about halfway down the wall. Um, it's quicker for... Yeah, it's quicker for me to go down the wall than it is to go down the stairs, ironically. Um, yeah. All that's right. monk speed. And that's your turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can't attack the thing. So. All right, Eclipse. If we took a short rest, would my um, poison have worn off by then? By now. Uh, I'd, I'd say. It's only an hour. I'd say yes. Okay. Cool. That means Mordecai's would too. Mine was actually. Twenty-four. Oh, I thought you said twenty-four hours. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Twenty-four hours. I'm okay. wrong. I was wrong. I, yeah. Um, then I'm going yeah, to... Yeah, you, uh, you hit me hard with that critical failure. Uh, I'm going to bonus action dash, ax action dash, mm -hmm. movement speed, all the way to the boat, and... All the way to uh, the boat? There's no <laughs> way you can... There's like an hour-long walk. <laughs> there's no way you can make it to the boat from here. Okay, never mind. Um, then... Oh, shit. What can I do? I don't have any range shit. Oh, um, I, I don't think it matters. Just run. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep running. While this is happening, uh, Noose, you're gonna be getting a whisper from Pipshin. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep running. I love how like the last season taught us to habitually fight every monster we come across, because that was part of the quest, and we didn't have any choice. This time. Run, run. Um, so any is that your turn, Eclipse? Yep. News, it's your turn as you're like on the stairs of the first floor. Everyone, he's just gonna shout as loud as he can. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Went to the obelisk to the shack, and whoever hears it, and then he that's where he's going. Okay. I'm running towards town, we, so am I running in that direction? You are running in that direction. Cool. We take you past the obelisk, yeah. Great, great. You guys would remember that uh, when Noose like activated that pressure plate, the door, like those really thick stone doors, would have come down and like sort of sealed the outside from the inside. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Noose, are you doing anything else, or is that yet? You're running and just screaming using using all what you can bonus action action to just run from there yeah okay maybe saying maybe saying i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry the whole time <laughs> okay Alrighty. uh with that it is iliacine as you're like out of the tavern now i'm just gonna sigh at the goblin Honestly, what have you done? What did you do? As I'm like following him. Uh, at this point, you guys would actually see like the patrons and the turtle hiding in like jungle foliage nearby the tavern. Like they're really close to the tavern. They're sort of hiding behind the foliage, but out of sight from this thing. 
I would probably keep moving if I were you. No, this is my bar. I have to make sure it's this is a safe place. It's that it stands. Did I tell you how I became captain of my ship? Everyone else died. I would love to own a bar as well. No, this this is mine. Well, not for long if you stay here. And I'm just gonna keep moving. <laughs> okay, Ash. As you watch yeah. as this giant fiend crashes through the one of the windows above you and is now floating, like, 50 feet up. All right. Uh, Ash's plan was actually also to run towards the obelisk, but for a completely different reason. And oh! Uh, <laughs> and he is going to run in that direction. Uh, if I pa Do I pass by the... Like, I'm probably going approximately the... Like, because I made it... Down very. I took the fast route down. Yeah, so. you jumped down. You would have passed Mordecai as he's like scaling down. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering how. Where for the other two? How am I close? Am I to Noose and uh, and the captain? They're on the other side. You're basically oh. you jumped up the window that was like the back of the building. Oh. They're on the front of the building, like running away. So I'm. So I have to go like around the, the building. Get to go around the building. Oh, uh, okay. All right. So then I start yeah, booking it around the corner. I double move as fast as I can in that direction. So you basically run underneath the fiend as it's floating up there. Or you, oh, go, I have to, wait, or you can go the other yeah, way. Do I, yeah, I was going to say, do I have to cross under it or can I just yeah turn yeah. The, direct, yeah, the direction I was? Yeah. All right. So you just book it. And I'd say at this point, you come to Iliocene and Noose running. Okay. Do I see the other people that are yeah, you see hiding? Them, you, see, you see them hiding in the jungle foliage. Like, you, they're totally noticeable. All right, I call back in the direction I just ran from and just go, Oi! Buffet in the jungle! <laughs> and it, Told you. Uh, anything else, Ash? Uh, nope, that's all I got. All right. You hear roaring coming from behind you. And Mordecai, you would see the, the, de the fiend sort of like fly away towards the sound of that sound, and it soars over Ash. And it looks around, and then it sees the meal, the big meal hiding in the foliage. And it just lets out a bellowing roar and flies right for them. And they're all screaming, like, ah! As it just does pincer attacks and decapitates the turtle with one pincer strike, just swiftly decapitates him. Oh. And you watch the hey guy. Hey guys, you got a bar now. <laughs> and you gotta watch. Anytime we try to go somewhere nice, everybody dies. <laughs> and you watch the guy with the peg legs try to run, but he runs right into the glabrizo because he can't see. Oh, I saw what it was. Oops. Runs into the <laughs> runs into the fiend, and it just picks him up and like rips him into two pieces. Ugh. Silent Hill movie style. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bunch of death. And the rest of the patrons are just getting murdered. The rest, the rest of the patrons are just getting murdered in the bushes. Are we the baddies? <laughs> and um, and then it sort of it sort of like senses people running away from it, and it turns, and because of its multi-attack purpose, it looks at you, Ash, for screaming like buffet in the jungle. And it's going to look at you, its eyes flare purple for a second. And I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, I'm not good at those. Alright. <laughs> come on. Come on, D20. You're all I got. Character sheet's not going to help you now. <laughs> well, um, if your question was, how many hands do I have? Same answer as how what I rolled on my wisdom saving throw. Two? Oh. Yes. Oh my god. Um, fantastic. You feel your mind sort of spawning delusions and almost provoking uncontrolled actions. Oh, like, great. oh so okay. Hey, like, Eliasin, can I be first mate? Barbarian. Uh, well... <laughs> Um, and with I'm that, not opposed to the idea. <laughs> and I'll say at this point, from all of you, the, the the fiend's about maybe forty feet away. Oh, let me check that actually. Oh yeah, totally works. Um, yeah. All right. So the the fiend is now between us and the obelisk. No, 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 it's it's off to the side, like attacking the people that are hiding in the foliage. The path is like clear. You guys could get to the obelisk. Um, and with that, it is actually Mordecai's turn. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go pretty much the rest of the way down the building. Yep. And um, how much of that? How much of my movement would that have taken up? Uh, like probably about twenty five. About twenty five feet. Okay. So um, I'm gonna move the remaining fifteen. How far away is Ash and the creature? Ash is about twenty feet away from you, and the creature's like sixty. It's like in the bushes, like eating people. Okay, well, they're not at sea, so the pirate code, uh, I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Um, so, he's not playing the hero today, but, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take, um, Dash action and catch up with Ash and see why he's just, I'm guessing he has, like, a weird look on his face now? Yeah, he looks kind of, like, uh, absent, sort of. Okay. I don't have responsibility to the people in the uh, bushes, but unfortunately I am still lawful despite just being evil. Um, and the pirate code uh, gives me an obligation to my crew members. So I'm going to see if I can snap him out of whatever's going on with him. Um, can, have I seen this sort of thing? Like in my travels, you uh, what's going on? You have not, and you cannot snap him out of it. Would I know that though? E Probably not. Okay, so I am going to smack him right in the face. All right. Try to break him out of this weird daze that it looks like he's in. All right. I'm um, just making this as a normal unarmed attack, not a monk unarmed attack. <laughs> yeah. So if it does hit, it should only do like one damage. Sure. Uh, and this will be a bonus action attack. I already. Or I, I guess I'll just say I bonus action sprinted. Yeah. Okay. I'll yeah. Use up the key point. Yeah. Uh, does the way I got to roll this. Damage. Okay. Does uh, does an eighteen hit? Yes. You take okay. you take so one you damage. Took, one damage? One point of damage. Yeah, it was just normal. Uh, and nothing. He's still, like, slack-jawed and absent, kind of. Well, I'm out of movement either way, so... You're standing beside him. Uh, I am. Noose and Iliacene are, like... Noose and Iliacene are ahead of you guys by a bit, and Eclipse is probably ahead of them by a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and with that, it's Eclipse's turn. Action, bonus action, movement. 90 feet forward. All right. The obelisk. I'll say you can see the obelisk now. It's about 100, It's about 90 feet away. Great. That's just, how much movement I have. Just for the sake of time. Yeah. It's Am I about to be murdered by Ash? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> next I, Dragon Ball Z. Um, and then I'm going to try to hide behind the obelisk. Are you touching it? To are, it? Are you going to touch it? Uh, no, because I remember what happens last time. When All I right. Did. I'm just going to, like, stand behind it, behind it, and, like, thin thoughts, thin thoughts. Stealth check, please. Stealth. Six. Disadvantage. <sighs> Every single time is a natural 20. Uh, so you're, you're like, hiding behind it, but your tail is, like, so totally... Nice. You're to well, it's you're, six plus five, so 11. You're, yeah, also you're hiding, but to you, you think you're hiding pretty well. Yeah. This thing's got passive perception that is decent. Not really, actually. Uh, all right, so that's your turn. Noose, it's your turn. You and Iliacene are, like, side by side, running. Eclipse just booked it through the jungle. Uh, the fiend just ripped apart all the bar patrons and the bartender. Ash went all slack-jawed and weird. Uh, how far away are we from the bar right now? It's like 50 feet. It's like, I'd say just for the sake of time and everything, uh, it's, it's like 40 feet back. Okay, that's too far. <laughs> Mies is going to try something. <clears throat> uh, Mies is going to use his action to invoke duplicity. Okay. And leave it right there. <laughs> and, and uh 
use everything else to run for the shack. Okay. Yeah, and his, his duplicate will just be like doing taunting actions. Okay, so yeah, you run off into the jungle after Eclipse. Yes. And your duplicate stays behind the like, dancing, doing like a little jig. And like blowing yeah. blowing like raspberries at it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, Ilyasin. I'm just gonna keep more of it moving towards the shack. I'm gonna... Well, actually, it looks like the things that came out of the obelisk, right? Uh, no. This is this is much bigger. Much bigger, but it still looks like fiendish, right? Oh, it's for sure a fiend. Okay. I'm gonna try something real stupid that I'm probably going to die for. Sweet. Um, be like, <sighs> Shark Man, get, get Ash to the shack, and then I'm gonna, uh, in Abyssal, for some reason, for some stupid reason, this is gonna be great, I'm gonna, uh, so, what exactly is your goal here? Like, why are you trying to kill us? I ha I'm not sure what happened, why you were summoned, but my, my dumb midget is very Are sorry to have disturbed you. you. Uh, it just replies in Abyssal telepathically. Oh, I like this because that's how I was doing it. I just take pleasure in destroying mortals. Hey, you know, we're on the same page here. We don't have to fight. Oh no. Hiring a, hiring this thing to be part of the crew. We don't really have to fight. Uh, in fact, I quite like you. We can uh, help each other out. Oh dear. Yeah, this is how the Mind Flare made a pact with a fiend. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what uh, kind of forward. warlock you were at before, but you're, you're about to be a fiend pact. <laughs> can I multi-class uh, from warlock into warlock? <laughs> I don't think no. you can. All right. Um, no. Give me. Give me persuasion. Sure, I say as I am not poisoned because I was not drinking. Let me find my skills. Persuasion, you were actually the only one who didn't drink. Well, we we both had a little bit of wine, but yeah, other than that. How does a nineteen sound? I'm going to roll a contested roll. Oh, no. Please do very poorly. My life depends on it. Oh, that's a natural 20. Okay, well, I lose. <laughs> plus, oh. you know, plus it's, yeah. So it's natural 20. And it just laughs at you. I mean... Oh! I, I just read something and it stats. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I didn't. I well, didn't, I mean, it's a fiend. I didn't read something. I know, but I didn't read something in its block. I, I've missed a sentence in its block. That's really good. Oh. Yeah. Fortunate. Well, you know, we can. That's so good for him. Always. This is some sort of CR14 horror thing? No. You know, not CR14. <laughs> allow you to do all of the killing, and then we. Not even that high either. Uh, allow you to do all of the killing, then we can, you know. It just stops replying to you. Eat the brains? It stops replying to you. I'm, I'm still trying. Yeah, it just keeps ignoring you. All right, good talk. I'm going to sort of back away. All right, Ash. How's yep. it going, buddy? I don't know. How is it going? Roll me a d10. Oh, yeah, I figured. Good luck. I, thought it was, I thought it was a fiend, not a number hulk. Good luck. I got a nine. The creature can act and move normally. Yeah! Alright. Uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> we'll double move towards the obelisk. Alright, uh, since it's the end of your turn, you can uh, give me another wisdom saving throw. Come on, d20. Plus zero. Let's go. You can do it. We've known each other for a while now. You were my first d20 ever. And you repay me with a 14? But I press probably not. Not no. good enough. No. No, I the effects no. sort of fog through your mind again. Oh, uh, no, not again. 
Uh, and with that, it's its turn, and it senses something in the jungle, and it sort of cracks a smile, you all see, and it moves through the jungle towards something that it can sense that has intelligence in the jungle. Uh-oh. And Noose, you see it come out onto the path, not in a sort of imposing presence, sort of in a calm demeanor. And in your mind, you, do you know Abyssal? <laughs> Noose does not know Abyssal. Oh no. Um, it just speaks in gibberish then. Yeah. And then it sort of like looks around, grabs a stick, realizing <laughs> you, you realizing you don't understand what it's saying, and it writes in the dirt. Um, not speak common at all. No, they don't. Huh. Um, surprising amount of things don't. It writes in the sand, and it's, it's best sort of common it can, it's really like disjointed common in the sand, and it says, you summon, with a question mark. Yeah. And it sort of just not, it doesn't understand. And... <laughs> I mean, and when it, he says, yeah, he just kind of goes. And then it writes um, in the sand, or yeah, in the sand, it writes, um, need help? Question mark. Oh my god, it's loyal to news. This is how our cleric becomes a warlock, guys. Because, <laughs> yeah, there's something in the in the stat block for, for this thing that says, um, these creatures are among the few to offer their service to creatures foolish enough to summon them. <laughs> well, so it's the same. I mean, it popped the out, it got a punch a bunch of people. Everything? Pardon me? It, so wait, it's the same thing that's been killing everything? It's not a separate thing? Oh, no, it's this thing that came out of the book and was killing people. Okay, alright. And it's like right. Right, trying to communicate with you writing in the sand. Yeah. And then it, oh no, he's still terrified of me. I'm gonna die, guys. And it walks over to you, and it puts a hand. It puts like one of its like humany on, hands on your forehead. On news? Yeah. <laughs> Big mistake, buddy. Like this huge hand. It's like your entire head, basically. He puts his hand on your head, and you feel something come over yourself, and somehow you can suddenly, you feel like you have just learned a new language. Like you can speak abyssal. And he just And I guess in Abyssal he says, What the fuck? Yes. What the fuck? I wanna go home now. Alright, let's get you home. Uh there is a there's a little door over here and anytime we touch this thing it opens up something in that shack. Okay, and because of this happening, because of this happening, combat will end, and the confusion spell will go away. Mm. But, and, uh, Eclipse, you see Noose talking to the Fiend. Can I hear them? Uh, he's speaking telepathically to Noose. Okay. So you can hear, you can hear Noose speaking out loud, probably in Abyssal. And he just says, send and me. And will be holding up his hand to tell everybody not to, like, attack it. Like, as if to say, don't attack And as if, for the sake of time, you all sort of gather up around Noose and this fiend. And he's, like, raising up his hands, don't attack it. <laughs> it's, like, it's, yes. it's pantsers are dripping with, like, gore and, like, entrails and stuff. Of all the you all right? It's murdered. Alright, so... Yeah, buddy. Uh, if you go into that shack, we'll touch this thing, and then it should have some way for you to go where other beings like you are. That's all we know so far. Without Wait. even waiting, it walks up to the obelisk and touches it with its hand. And he watches the obelisk does the same thing it did before. Lights red everywhere, and the beam of light shoots up into the sky. The obelisk then shatters... And you see a huge portal just there. And you watch as the Glabrizu's like, 
all you hear, those of you who know Abyssal, you hear it in your mind, it goes, oh, fuck, and it's pulled through the portal. See ya, buddy. And <laughs> you see other things in the portal trying to come out. You see a giant, like, three-headed creature that looks very large. And you see this sort of undead figure standing in the middle of this portal, trying to come out. Skeleton face, a glowing eye socket, and a glowing, like, left hand. Just standing there slowly gliding towards the portal. Mm. This, this necromancer lich-looking thing gliding towards the portal as the portal snaps shut and closes. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. When did you learn to speak abyssal? What? You, <clears throat> you were you were speaking. I feel like we, I feel like we have more pressing matters to attend to first. What the hell did you just do? I was just trying to have a nice nap, and suddenly there's a fucking oh fuck! Theme. Hold on, hold on. Eclipse. Ah, shit. I need you to give me a dexterity save and throws the portal, like, opens oh. and sucks in the Glabrizu. Hi, Eclipse! <laughs> <laughs> is, it still at is it still at disadvantage? You know what? I'll say no. As I say, didn't the poisoning disappear? Yeah, it would have disappeared a while yeah. ago. Yeah, so yeah, no. Well, yeah, well, but either way, that, that was a natural one. You guys see Eclipse start to, like, lift up and slowly get pulled into the portal along with the Glabrizu. Can anybody grab her? Is anybody nearby yeah, she's her? Yeah, uh, close enough that I I'm can fast grab her. Mordecai's fast enough to jump, run over there and do it. But he's still poisoned, so it's still be a disadvantage for him to grab onto her. Yeah, but can I reach her tail? You can probably... Her tail's, like, getting sucked in first. Oh, okay. Can I reach her, like, hand or something? Yeah, you can go for it. Step? Give me a dexterity right. saving throw, Ash. Okay. Uh... <laughs> can I... Out, guys. Do can it! I do it! Do it with advantage, because I assume they're helping. Okay, oh, I was gonna ask. I was like gonna ask if I could do. Out. I was gonna ask if I could do it with advantage if I like tried to skewer with the trident, but other people helping works too. <laughs> I mean, I'm at full health. Well, I assume I assume your friends aren't. Assume they're not just gonna. You guys aren't just gonna let her get sucked into the abyss. Yeah, yeah I mean, I have duty to my yeah. crew. So. Pirate code and all. Natural twenty. It's the blue. It's the blue. Code. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, d d come on. Where's the there we go. Look at it. Not Look twenty. At you're Ash, Ash, like, you, like, leap, and you grab onto her, and you, like, pull her out of the way just in time, as you yourself feel like you're getting sucked in almost, and that's when the portal snaps and closes. <laughs> and you would have seen that necromancer sort of, like, with a glowing eye socket, a glowing, single glowing eye socket, single glowing hand, lock eyes with you, as the portal snaps shut and closes. It's a deck, I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> I'm... I'm just gonna slowly crouch down to Noose's eye level, very menacingly, almost, and I'm just gonna be like, "What did you just do?" I didn't even get to open the book. <laughs> I didn't even get to open it. Oh, oh uh, I also Noose the face that you cut off also would have been like absorbed by the book. Like when that portal opened, it would have taken the face with it too. But I forgot to mention it, so you still have it. Huh? Yeah, I forgot to mention that the face would have been taken with the book too when it opened up and everything. But I forgot to mention it, so you still have that cut off face. Whoa. I was just. I, I was trying to make a holy symbol. And with this, with this face, and I would use those book to work with. Okay, so, um, uh, unfortunately no, for you, <laughs> unfortunately for you, you're no longer my second mate. Congratulations, Eclipse. I'm gonna shout over my shoulder. <laughs> what? You are now my second mate. Laying flat on your back, before <laughs> I just, like slammed you to the ground. is gonna go get his. This is gonna go get his fifty gold back. <laughs> Look for more. All right, so you head to where the turtle got eviscerated in the bushes, and you take your gold back. Yeah, that's right. So you just you come across this pile of dead bodies that have been torn apart, and the turtle is just he's laying there, headless. We we have a pile of dead bodies in an extremely expensive tavern. 
<sighs> yeah, but see, because we survived, they're going to think that we did it, so we kind of can't stay here now. Is this is this shell intact? <laughs> the shell is intact. <laughs> Is the Let's bowler try, hat intact? Try and cut everything out the of bowler it. hat? You would not know if the bowler hat's intact, Mordecai. <laughs> I can look to the head. But. You're not there right now. No, so bowler hat's still currently on another plane. I, you can still be the cook, but. Wait, I'm currently on another plane? No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> the bowler hat is. No, it's not. I was about to say, technically, if anybody's like... close to the corpses, it's me. Oh, the corpses are like a long way away. They're near the tavern. I don't, I don't care about titles, ill fiend. Well, we're going to have to have a serious talk about not summoning demons in the future. Oh my I didn't God. even open the book. I, I think mean... what Noose is trying to say is that he's sorry. And he won't do it again. Well, and that's what I'm getting to. How exactly did you manage this if you didn't open the book? I, I was using the book as reference for my holy symbol, like I said. <laughs> I'm okay. Make the holy symbol. And how were you doing that? Well, I'm going to take my, my shield and put this face on it and it'll look like the holy symbol. Okay, so what were you doing with the face and your shield when the book did the thing? I was using, I was comparing the face. <laughs> I was comparing the face to the book, and I was holding it above the book. Oh, I'm dying. Okay, and then what happened? And then I saw a little drop of blood hit it in the book. Okay, that's when so... I went up into the air. So, what have we learned, Noose? What are we not going to do next time? Dwayne the blood. There you go. Make sure to get all of the blood off before you go trying to do things on very obviously evil artifacts, all right? Noose I'm not going to tell you not to do it. I'm going to tell you to wash it first. Noose. New skin goblin, he says, peel the skin, scrape the fat, eat the meat, crack the bone, drain the blood. <laughs> One more step on the uh, dismemberment process. Well done. By the way, Eclipse, since uh, I apparently uh, just saved your life, would you mind going back into the tavern and grabbing me my bottle of wine? <laughs> I think I could use it right now. <laughs> Well, congratulations, uh, we are now in the possession of a tavern. Just how I got my boat. We are the last people standing. Uh, we now have an inn. Screw I, pirates, this uh, is gonna be an inn simulator. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Sim City. so, Sim City Builder. So, a fun, like, out of game kind of thing. Uh, that book was written in Abyssal. And it was all... <laughs> It was all blank except for one page at the very back, and it said, From the depths of the abyss, I call you into this world. Come and act your vengeance. Feed on my blood. Feed on my blood. <laughs> Destroy those whom sealed you away. The world is yours. I feel like this could have been avoided entirely if we had just read the line in the book where it says, Feed on my blood, and then not given it blood. But that's every game, so nobody, nobody knows yeah. that. So. Exactly. But now we know. The knowledge is power. I'm just going to slowly get up and start trudging back to the tavern tavern for Ash's bottle of wine. All right, yeah, you I would, head back. I would, I would like to point Hi. out that this did turn into an. Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Go ahead. Uh, no, you, I didn't hear you come through immediately. So you go ahead. <laughs> okay, I was going to say if this does turn into an in simulator. Ironically, my character's surprisingly well equipped for that. He's got painter supply, performance, brewer's tools, navigator's tools. He could he could set up quite a lot for this thing. He's a multi-talented drunk. <laughs> so yeah, time passes. Right, uh, um, yeah. Oh, I was just gonna go back to town and let them know that demon shit happened. We fought off the demon. But everyone's dead. 
so that, you know, we, they don't attempt to come to the end in the middle of the night and find everyone slaughtered and us chilling in the end. Because that could go very poorly. <laughs> Perhaps we may want to consider leaving and forsaking our tenuous ownership <laughs> of the inn. Well, unfortunately, the boat's not going to be ready for a few days, so we kind of do actually have to stay here. There's really nice wounds. So, uh... Here before, I called the dresser door. Unless uh, you guys want to take it from me, which I completely understand. No, no, no one's taking anything from you except your second mate title, and okay. that is here. Up in the air at the moment. I you mean... Can- sure. If we decorated the front of the inn, you know, creatively enough, perhaps we could bite ourselves a few days where no one would want to come and investigate too closely. I feel like actually telling someone what happened would probably be more in our benefit at this particular moment in time, for we are a simple whaling ship, not pirates at this given moment at this particular port. Um, I'm just saying, investigate. Uh, who has a passive perception of... Uh, yeah, 13 or higher. Nope, I do. Okay, so yeah, those of you, those of you that have 13 or higher, you hear, you hear shouting coming from the jungle. And you hear, Some of them survived. You hear someone say, Yeah, I saw a red light in the sky! It's, it's over here! And you That's see me. you see about 20 or so um, human-looking people well, obviously human looking people are humans come running down the path they're wearing long red like naval coats oh no wearing black tricorn hats i got this vests you, you ties oh, no. they're, they're all holding the they're all holding black powder rifles with bayonets on them and they say oh, thank god they're like you what are you all doing here oh thank god you're <laughs> here we've just had the shittiest night we saved the day and you saw okay. the book girl ahead. So you you all saw that red light, right? They nod. Holy shit. We were sleeping, and then out of nowhere, this thing, and I'm going to point at the head. Is it even nighttime? It is nighttime. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. And then, and then this thing comes out and starts attacking the inn from the inside. So it busted out the top of the flipping. Um, off the top floor, a couple of windows are broken, and killed everyone. We made it to here and are running before we decided to turn around and fight it. Can't you see? I look like shit. So does, so does uh, Sharkman, so does this guy. I mean, Hello. we've had one hell of a night. Can you, like, clean up, please, and, like, let us sleep? How are you talking to I'd them? Like to... Huh? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Muse. Oh, I said I'd like to point out that, uh, Ash, for whatever reason, would have a suspiciously shark fin shaped handprint on the side of his face. <laughs> Luckily, he was currently in a confused state, so he probably doesn't know why the cause of it. I um, also remember everything that happened. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Um, they so sort of seem to be How clear. are you speaking to them, Ilyasin? Uh. Are you speaking in their minds or are you speaking out loud? Which is less likely to get me killed? <laughs> you don't know. These people, they, like I said, mind flayers aren't prominent on this continent, if at all. So okay, they have, then out loud. <laughs> they're, they, they're still training their guns on you because of what you look like and how you're dressed. And they definitely... Yeah, but you're dressed in a certain way. Eclipse is dressed in a certain way with an oh, eye patch. I'm, I was walking away. Oh, that's right. You're not there. The, yeah, I'm not there. I'm almost at the end. They see Ash, who looks somewhat normal in his attire. They I'm see. Just, I'm, I'm like leaning against a tree, like sitting down next to a tree, just breathing heavily. And okay, I can see where you're going with this, officers. Uh, that whaling boat in port right now. That's ours. We're we're whalers. He, <laughs> the what, the captain sort of like the lead steps forward. He's got a long, like, white beard that's tied off into braids, and white hair that's been, like, slicked back. One of his eyes has been, like, gouged out, and it's, like, a... just a mess. Ooh, tragic. Um, and on his, col- on his like, uh, on, the, on his shoulders, you see the sigil of a common... of a... Oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Commodore. Mm-hmm. Commodore. Yeah. And uh, he's standing there, and he sort of looks around and goes, "Yeah, just shut up, or I'll shoot you." 
And he okay. sort of looks, just looks around and says, keep your guns trained on that thing. And he points to Ilyas Ilyasine and all 20 guns just get trained on you. I'm going to hold up both my empty hands and all four tentacles. <laughs> okay. And uh, he sort of walks over to Noose. He's like, can I see the head? Yeah, it's right here. He takes it and just tosses it into the jungle. What? And he's like, that's evidence nobody needs to know about. What? The obelisk is busted. People are going to notice that. That thing looks like it's been here for a while. What obelisk? Nurse, we didn't see anything. Wait, uh-huh. He looks at the goblin like that's probably seemingly talking to himself. He's like, uh, okay. And he looks over at the shark. He's like, oh, one of you, one of your kind. Yeah, uh, Mordecai's just currently bleeding from the face from where he got clubbed over the head. Um, he's going to be like, oh, one of you kind, right back because the law. And then he sort of smiles. And then he walks over to Ash. Mm hmm. He sort of kneels down in front of Ash and taps you on the shoulder. Good evening, officer. He, and you see that he pulls out this this weird, like, looking glass out of his coat. And he sort of fiddles with it in his hands. And he's like, you look familiar. Do I? Yeah, you do. Uh, how, uh, how so? Perhaps we've met before? When was the last time you were on Dawnbreak Cove? Uh, last I was there was about six months ago. Interesting, interesting. Is it? And as he's like sp spinning the looking glass around, you see there's a family crest on it. Mm hmm. And it's the same family crest that's on the bottle of wine. Okay. And he sort of looks at it and he goes, ah, I get a feeling from you. A feeling, a feeling I don't like. Sorry? <laughs> he smells right. And he says something to you. Only to you. He leans in and whispers it to you. Okay. And he says, they're not going to no one's going to hear what he says to you. Okay. I'm going to whisper it straight to you. All right. On, dis on Discord. Am okay. I able to have gotten to the tavern and back by this point? Probably not back. You probably could have made it like yeah. the tavern, I guess. We were running for a while. Uh, hey, it was folks, only three I got rounds. Uh, clock out for the night. Hey, boss man. Yeah, one second. One second, guys. And as he whispers that to you, Ash, he leans back, smiles, pats you on the shoulder, puts the, puts the looking glass back into his coat, turns around and says, If any of these people show their faces on Dawnbreak Cove, shoot them dead. And he just walks away and the rest of them follow. I stand up as he's going and I just call up after him. What are their crimes? He just... That's none of your business. And just walks away. I... Used to work for them. I'd like to know. Just keeps walking away. Maybe I could testify. And no response and they all walk out of sight. So when he said, if any of these people, like, referring to us? Yeah. 
Wait, hold up, I haven't done anything. That's a bit hasty. I've never even been. They're gone now. Hey Ash, I got you I got your wine. Is everything alright? You want I'm gonna slowly hand the bottle to Ash. Okay. Ash is Ash has got his fists clenched very tightly. If you try to hand it to him, you're just like butting it up against the back of his hand. And he's just staring straight down oh. at the dirt thinking. Okay. Um uh, I guess I'll just save this for later. Uh, did I miss something? How long of a sail is it to Dongbre Cove from the t- from here? <laughs> um, so you're at Old Newport right now. Mm-hmm. Dongbre right. Cove uh, on the whaling ship, probably three days. I take it you've got business in Dongbre Cove then. Um, we probably shouldn't go back there. I mean, it has been a while, but um, seems like something's happening. Yes. Um, Would you care to enlighten us? A if? family that I used to work for is being executed. Okay, so when you say work for... I was a uh, Guard. I was a guard. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was um, uh, good friends with a member of the family before he died. You're talking about that Montenza kid. Montsoza. Yes. Montsoza. Whatever his name is. Uh, yeah, yes. I heard about that. Apparently, the, the whole family, according to him, is going to be hanged in three days' time. Oh, so we really don't have time to spare then, do we? Apparently not. Uh, let's go. Okay, all right. I'll go check on the boat. You all take a rest. I will... You're coming with me, though. I wouldn't be able to stay still if I I stayed here, yes. So you all head back to the tavern that we now own. Congratulations, everyone. Uh, <laughs> you, we're going to go check on the boat. And at this point, right. since Muse had to leave, Mordecai passes out from his drunkenness in against that tree. Noose, my self-appointed noose. <laughs> <laughs> you know a lot of bodies. I know what you're thinking. I'll, do you have do you have a bottle or something? Uh, it's a there bug. are several in the inn. Oh, wait. Yeah. Good point. I'll get uh, to work. Ransack the place. Take as many materials as you'd like. Excellent. Clean them. Yeah. Drain the blood. Drain the Don't blood. forget. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, can you also carry the shark back? No. Can <laughs> <laughs> um, you drag the shark back? Yeah. All right. Do that one. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> um, DM. Yeah. Who was the family I stole that fam- that special item from at the beginning? Was it the same family that we were? Was it the Monsozas? Oh shit! Great. None of you know. I've this. never been to Don Break Curve. They're so the they're the, they're the only okay. family they're the only I family of power come. on that island. I I figured. Just wanted to double check. Yeah. Cool. Great. Um, yeah. They're being uh, execu- all being executed is very interesting because I believe they're very important people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go help uh, Noose with grabbing things. Um, okay. Meet you at the ship, boat, I guess. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm just going to lay a tentacle on my first mate. All right. So talk to me. <laughs> What's the boat? Uh, who was that guy? And. Uh, he was a member of the what's the name of the the S- navy again? Scarlet Banner. Yeah, he was a member of the Scarlet Scarlet Banner. They're the the king's navy. Enemies of pirates everywhere. Well, all right. We are whalers, not pirates. I am aware. Very fine distinction. Mentioning it, and uh, 
Well, they are supposed to be, well, they are the, like I said, the King's Navy. And the family in question that I mentioned is supposed to be loyal subjects of the king. So I'm very interested in how the last in the last six months that all got so turned upside down. All right, so well, help you in any way I can. Uh. So why am I going to be shot on sight, having never been to this Dawnbreak Cove? Honestly, I don't know why they're why they're so keen on uh, on us dying. Perhaps he, I mean, he may, if he spent time there, he might have recognized recognized me. I lived there for a while. Okay, well, I have one of those faces where you know everyone <laughs> thinks they recognize me as well. Well, if, if we hurry, wh- which way did the did they all go toward like deeper into the jungle towards the inn, or did they go like towards the docks? Towards the docks. Okay. It's <clears throat> possible that if they're going other places, if we hurry, we might beat them back, and news of our uh, orders to kill us on the site might not have reached Dunbreak Don- Cove by the time we get there. Okay. Well, let's go see if our boat is finished. Uh Surely, to goodness, I cannot wait to have 20 bullet holes in me when I arrive on the coast of an island that I've never been to. I'll do my best to help make sure that doesn't happen. I appreciate you offering to help me like this. Well, better friends than a mutiny, I suppose. (laughs) I was thinking less mutiny and just chartering a ship my own, but... In fact, I appreciate this again. All right, so, uh, to Dawnbreak Cove, I suppose. Uh, and then I'm gonna head on into town with my buddy and see if the ship's ready. Cool. Uh, Noose, what are you doing? And Eclipse. Uh, I, I am kind of wondering, because last day, when, uh, Giles came up to us while we were talking to the kobold, he said it was gonna take like two days ish. or so yeah two, two, two days ish yeah it hasn't even been a full day yet it's yeah right. we're doing our best right. tragic <clears throat> i have thoughts uh, so yeah uh news is gonna harvest bodies harvest brains uh i'll be right there beside you buddy yeah you harvest brains from the turtle's head his bowler hat's still attached I'm just like holding a sack open for news to put things in. Yep. Yeah. All right. This is all really necessary. Yeah. <laughs> he cracks the head open. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lay it next to one, I guess. Uh, <laughs> right. There's may- there's maybe like one viable brain. It's from the turtle. Oh, okay, cool. The other yeah. bodies were just like ripped to pieces. That'll work for news. Um, Tragic. Yeah. Um, so, Moose, I wanted to talk to you about something. Yeah. Um, when I, when we were on the beach and I was no longer in the world of the living, um, did you or your god uh, have anything to do with it? Youth opens his mind and if no one answers No answer I did it <laughs> It was really hard You did it? It took a lot out of me Alright, um, well uh, thank you I don't, think I, I don't think I could do it again though uh, well, I I will do my best not to die again. Okay. Um, but I it it is appreciated. Um, I I quite literally owe you my life. Uh, so well, thank you. Well, after today, I I think we're square. 
<sighs> I mean, I feel like you today. Have... You want to beat me to the bed? <laughs> to the bed? You go to the bed. I'm going to the door. Well, the bed's all yours. Uh, um, Not the Mordecai on the floor. He won't mind. <laughs> all right. I mean, we could put him on the the sofa. Possibly. Or, or we could just leave him on the floor. Uh, there, there's cushions on the floor. All right. Yeah. Um. New when going, when going. If if while we're having our conversation, we're going through the tavern. Yeah. Noose is gonna grab a bottle of the high alcohol. The kelp rum. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Then, yeah. Yeah. He's gonna grab that. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna grab whatever bottles are left of the Montsoza wine and also put those in the sack with the brains. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just for carrying convenience. All right. Um, and really quickly, Ash and Iliasine, as you guys get to the docks, you see another member of the Scarlet Banner standing on the docks, waving their arms around, tracing like tracing like arcane symbols in the air. And you watch as a giant swirling like portal opens up, and all of the members of the Scarlet Banner walk through the portal, and the portal closes. I don't think we're no. going to beat that, mate. I didn't know they could do that. I don't think we're going to beat that. <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. All right. Can I try to uh, see the arcane symbols that they were weaving and maybe hope at some point to be able to replicate them? You're too far away. I tried. <sighs> okay, well, um, that is somewhat tragic. Uh... Let's go check on the boat! <laughs> if you don't want to come with, still, I understand. Well, if you're going to charter a boat and head there on your own, I would really rather not have to recruit a new first mate, because let's face it, I don't think news is quite up to the task yet. <laughs> I'm here maybe, for you. Maybe with time. <laughs> um, and as you two are discussing, you sort of notice that the boat is fully painted. Oh, that was quick. And this the name is engraved into the side, but the ram hasn't been made yet. Oh, this is perfectly fine. We can go like this for now. I appreciate it. Oh, hi, anything. He sort of nods and goes, Giles nods and goes, anything, anything. Um, You know what, since I didn't finish the ram, here's the gold back for it. And he hands you the gold back that was for the ram. All right. How much was that? Fifty. I think it was fifty gold. Yeah. Okay. Well, he can keep fifty for the paint or the. I handed him seventy-five. Yeah. He can take fifty for the paint job because of fifty for the paint, and I will take the twenty-five since he did finish that. All right. So he hands. He just hands you twenty-five gold then. Okay. And I'm gonna add twenty-five. Perfect. All right. Uh, we will most assuredly be back. However. It has come to my attention that uh, we have places to be and people to save with our whaling ship. So, yeah. He's like, oh, all right. Well, um, if you ever find yourselves back here, I can make that ram for you. Oh, we will most assuredly be back because let's face it, a squid ram. That's what I'm talking about. You have the measurements for it, right? I say to him. I I do. And you can make it separately and then attach it later, right? I. I take one of the rubies that I pried off of the lockbox. Yeah. And just hand it to him and say, "Consider it a down payment." Consider it paid. All right. Next time we come back, you can mount it on. Noose and I are just having a slumber party, doing our hair, having a pillow fight. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Giles, you're the best. We'll be back. I know, that's why they call it's why make they call me Giles. Assuming I don't end up with bullet holes. But I digress. We're going to try to prevent that. So we're going to go have a nice nap and set sail first thing in the morning. Okay okay. I and he just sort of like goes into the back of a shop to get back to work. 
Oh, right. You probably don't want to go to the inn any point soon. Okay. Uh, and the Eclipse and dead. Eclipse and Noose, while you guys are sitting there in the room, just doing whatever. Yeah. Eclipse, you see flashes in your mind of your soul, okay. of where it was when you were dead. And you see... this strange landscape of people tied to chains and getting dragged through like red dirt and you see spires of like just black spiked spires and as your vision sort of like moves towards one of these spires and goes inside you see this large black obsidian throne that is just jagged and a bunch of like fiends are milling about and humans that are like blinded their mouths are sewn shut are doing like menial like slave tasks and as you sort of like get closer to the throne you see there's a figure sitting in it with its legs crossed and you notice that it kind of almost looks like you if you had orange and white fur and you sort of see Garfield. you sort of see that it's but when it's sitting on the throne its legs are crossed and its arms are on these armrests, and you see that its hands are kind of almost backwards, not the way they're supposed to be. <gasps> and it just sort of looks around, and as you're like seeing this in your mind's eye, you see your body lying in front of the throne, and it just sort of, this figure stands up, walks over to your body, and it starts caressing your head slowly like petting you kind of not creepy at all not creepy at all just and it cracks a smile and just says rise and then that's when you come back to yourself sitting in the tavern all right yeah and with that i think that's where we'll end the session for the week <sighs> <laughs> The face from the mind flare is the most normal, well-adjusted one of the party. Can I just say that right up, like, up front there? <laughs> yeah, it's a little concerning. <laughs> I thought I was going to be a contender, but then some things happened. <laughs> the mind flare is the most well-adjusted member of the party at present. Nice. Good job, guys. I think Mordecai's pretty okay, too. Kind of. Mostly. He's <laughs> a guy who comatoses himself. By drinking, like, all the time. He's, He's probably a close totally second, well though. Yeah. Totally well adjusted. <laughs> yeah. Drinks like a fish. Ha 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 ha. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, Noose, what have we learned? Yeah. <laughs> so what, what, we have learned what would have, what would have, we, have to to say. <laughs> we have done during that episode of Noose? <laughs> <laughs> didn't do anything. Probably didn't... gone in and investigated the uh, the ruins that we didn't touch ah. at all. Ah. Gonna, that I guess we're ignoring now since I'm dragging everyone off to my to to, to my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we find. Yeah. So there is a fiend sitting on a obsidian spired in a spired tower somewhere where he eclipsed his soul went when she died. Rakshasa. Well, petting Eclipse's dead body before she came back. Yeah. Um, so that was that. Uh, we had the book summon a Glabrizu, which is what it would do if blood was spilled on it. Tragic. So the first if, thing if, we did. That when, that happened, when that happened, uh, would we normally like if we had, if we had noticed that stuff earlier, or if News, I guess, would have noticed that the thing was trying to speak to him? We'll say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he probably would have, I mean, like, it could have gone a completely different way. For but, sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and there was things you guys saw in that portal. I will say one of them was the Dem one of them was the Demogorgon. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, okay. And another one. Vecna? Maybe, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and hand and I. Uh, and uh, Eclipse almost got pulled into that portal. That would have been tragic. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, I have a second character ready that I love with all my heart. <laughs> the 
Really a wise decision in Justin's campaigns. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and we got some more backstory stuff. Milked a little bit. Just a little, mm. just, just a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thanks for joining us uh, for this session tonight, guys. Uh, it's a, it's a bit of a shorter one, just because we got us we had a late start and just if I felt like a good place to end it with Eclipse mm -hmm. coming out of that vision of her time spent in the Nine Hells, obviously, but that's out of game knowledge, so no one's gonna know she was actually in the Nine Hells. Um, and yeah, uh, we'll be back next Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time to continue this. Don't know why Muse had to leave, but he did. Um, and we'll be back, yeah, next week, 10 p.m. Uh, also, we'll be back sat on Saturday doing the charity stream for 12 hours once again. Uh, so stay tuned for that. That's 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time this Saturday. We'll all be, three of us will be running charity games for that. And I'll be playing in two of them. So that's Not exciting. I'll be playing in mine. Yes. Yeah. So I'm excited to run through that. And I'm excited to throw a Tarask sized Titan of a gelatinous cube at people to see what that does. Um, yeah. And as always, again, thanks for watching, guys. Um, and I'm very curious to see how things go next week with this. Because um, now there's multiple plot threads going on that could be taken any direction. There's still the stuff with Roman going on with the gem that, he's, that he has now because of Ash giving it to him. So there's that. Everything is Ash's fault, I've come to realize. <laughs> the book was not. The book was not. It's a good thing you purchased that first mate position because, I mean, man. So, yeah. Everything is Ash's fault. Except for the... Hey, the Glabrizu was not Ash's fault. So, yeah, there's... So, that thing is a CR9 creature. So, not as high as... Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, still, still deadly for a party like this. A level three characters, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. That's the session. I never intended for that thing to last. I figured I was intending it to, like... You guys would like run into the temple, activate the pressure plates to seal a door behind you, or yeah, convince it to touch the obelisk, which would open a portal to the abyss. Anyways, I can tell you my plan was to just run and touch the obelisk, hopefully summon something that was opposed to it. I don't remember if Glabrizu was a demon or devils, but opposed a gr summon the other one, and then run into the temple and hide while they fought. That would have been that would have been fun. Uh, low levels versus higher level creatures. Did I tell you about the time that I soloed a purple worm at level three? <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. Wow. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll be back next Wednesday at 10 p.m. with our sixth session uh, to see how everything goes. Um, and again, yeah, charity stream Saturday. Uh, you can now subscribe to us on Twitch to get the cool emotes and Gundar head as your subscriber icon and we're also gonna i might also look into giving doing giveaways every once in a while for the channel as well just for audience and for subscriber only giveaways just to help give back to the people that help us kind of thing and yeah uh, so as always we go through the cast closing thoughts if they have social media where you can find them anything they want to promote and then uh we get on the hell out on out of here and I rest up for Saturday. So, because uh, I'll be a tired person after Saturday ends. So, um, Garrett. Uh, well, if that stuff didn't happen with that book, new sort of, <laughs> yeah, darn. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah, that was, a, that was a rough one. Didn't get to do a few things that I'm going to check, but... You have a blowgun now. Finally got the, you finally got that blowgun! Uh, I did have one question about that. Okay. Is it just uh, typical stats for blowgun right now? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Uh, yeah, that'll be all. Thanks a lot. That was really fun. Noose is broken up about this. He, uh... <laughs> Summoned a Glabrizu and it killed a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's not so messed up about that as he is about uh, losing the book. He just he just 
like admired just how that thing looked. Priorities. And how, uh, and when it, when it disappeared, <laughs> he was pretty broken up about that. Um, but uh, yeah, that that's all, man. That was. I don't know where this can go, but it's great. Me neither, because plot threads. So many of them floating right now. Um. All right. Uh. Sam. Oh boy, speaking of plot threads, you get oh, hmm, ah, I, hmm. Whew, going to some stuff earlier than I speak. I feel your pain, Kate. Going to <laughs> yeah. stuff, stuff showing up earlier than you thought it would. Yeah, I had episode one, man. Bam, 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 yeah, bam, bam, bam. Me. True. I thought they were going to spread this out over like a campaign. No. We're just just, just going Jumped through right all the in. story right now. Unless like new, we find out Noose is like the like I don't know the, the, the big nephew bad. of a demigod or something or that yeah <laughs> got something like bad. level seventeen backstory it's gonna pop <laughs> up all of a sudden <laughs> it's pretty good um, it's pretty good Noose is Wait, actually back now yeah yeah <laughs> looking forward to seeing how that goes also uh, we have I have my cast and scheduled our session zero for my campaign Let Soldiers of the Lich Queens so we're gonna get started with that. In the next couple of weeks, uh, probably it's going to be a, while, a little couple of weeks before we get into recording session one because I'm going to be out of town for a weekend also, and I want to push it back so we're not just like session one and then take a week off so we can just start going. Um, but yeah, looking forward to that, and then looking forward to doing a similar thing to Justin when he's in the player's chair. Yeah, woo! This is my voice for that, right. and it's going to be great. I mean, I'm going to perfect it a little bit more. <laughs> I was I was hoping to get to perfect it. This session, that's why I introduced that turtle whose name was Jonas. Now it's dead. dead. Yeah. <laughs> Decapitated. All right. Um, Very much so. Yeah, so I'm excited for Soldiers of the Lich Queen for sure, because I get to play. Uh, and play a really dumb character concept that I'm so excited about. Um, yeah. Uh, and Cat. That was hilarious. Again, Mind Flayer being the most well balanced character in the party, you know, mentally. well adjusted, mentally, you know, hey guys, we can do it. <laughs> you know, no big deal. PMA. Yeah. Positive mental attitude. I feel like some roles were swapped somewhere that shouldn't have been. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, I might eat your brain, but at least I'll be nice about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to repeat myself again. Uncaged just came out. You should get it. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm going to send the link to chat one more time because it's a gold bestseller on DMG. And mm. it's awesome. And it's only been out for like a day. Yeah, it's only been out since yesterday. Uh, actually, right at 24 hours. So, you know, there's that. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter because I like tweet and stuff. Not, not much, but, you know, I do. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, too. Uh, I'm going to be in three of the four charity games in the charity stream on Saturday, so hope you're not tired of my ugly mug yet. No. Nope. It's only been two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Give it time, you will be. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah charity stream should be exciting. We got some games going on for that. I get to TPK people at, like, second level with the gelatinous cubes, so that's always going to be fun. And I've also homebrewed some slimes for that game as well. So we'll see how broken those are. There's one called Brain Butter, and that's all I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> That'll go perfect him. on pancakes! I love him. Um, and uh, last but not least, Kate. Um, well, uh, bringing back my baby cat finger puppet. I don't think Kat has seen it, but I have my finger puppets for each campaign. Last campaign, it was baby hands. Anyway, um... I sorry I missed last week. I didn't want to, but I had to, because uh, jobs um, and life theater. Um, happy to be back. Going to stay back for a good few weeks. Yes. Um, uh, but, uh, you can follow me on the Twitters and the Instagrams and the the website that I have, um, krtheater.com. Uh, at KR Theater on Instagram, and then I believe I believe my Twitter's on below. I don't know. It'll be on the VOD of U on the YouTube video. Yep. I think. Um, and then what else? Uh, come check out the charity stream on Saturday. 
It's gonna be an all-female pot party, killing dinosaurs. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, and I'll be manipulating everything behind the scenes and not getting any sleep. Yep. Yeah. Um. Um. um and then. Ah. Uh, I think that's all I have to say. All right. Uh, finger puppet. And uh, yeah, I'm. Justin, go by J.W. Ross on the social medias because it sounds professional. Uh, and that is J.W.R.O.S.S.S. on the Twitter. Uh, I also do stuff for Dungeon Masters Guild. Um, I have an adventure you can buy for like two bucks or something on there called Fizzle Blimp's Sugar Land, which is basically Willy Wonka in a D&D universe. And we played it here on the channel as a one-shot um, last month, right before this campaign started. Or actually, not last month. Yeah, last month before this campaign started, we played it and nearly had a TPK. Um, and uh, I'm currently writing another adventure for DM Guild because I figured it's almost been a... Excuse me, that adventure came out in August, so I think it's time to write another one. And it's going to be ridiculous and stupid. And again, yeah, please come check out this charity stream on Saturday from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be doing giveaways of some good stuff. And... Uh, just come support, and if we hit the goal of $600, I might, uh, like I said, do a special one-shot where the audience can come in and try to kill the cast off. Not in real life, but, like, kill off their characters if they play for that one shot. Um, Sam, you're going down first. Hunger game stuff Rina. right there, yeah. Fight me. But, um, <laughs> yeah, we'll be back. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, we'll be back next Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, also, next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time will be the continuation, episode 3, of our ha Persistent Haunted House campaign, The House of Bent Hill, which I'm having a lot of fun running. It's been wacky and wild, and there are some plot threads that were sort of thrown out tonight that the players got to see, and see how long the, the first group has been trapped inside the house, which they're going to find out, maybe. Um, so I'm excited to continue on with that campaign because it's been a lot of fun. We're only two episodes in, and we already had a player death, or character death. So, yeah, it's been exciting. Um, so yeah, uh, as always, without further ado, we always close out the show by waving at our webcams Good night. So, good night, everyone. And we'll be back on Saturday. Good night. Good night.